Hello, hello everybody. How's everyone doing today? Happy Friday to everyone out there. If it is in fact a work week for you, happy, especially happy Friday to you guys. You made it. If you don't have to work this weekend, even better. It is Friday. Let's go. And I hope everyone's had a really nice week. I forgot to open my game. Oh my god. I was sitting here literally waiting for that song to end. Just because. I forgot to even open my game, so there's nothing in that thing. Just one moment. But anyways, while it opens, I hope everyone's having... Oh, that's loud in my ears. A wonderful day. Today is Variety Friday! One of my favorite stream days of the week. Can I, like, mute this? Ah, there we go. Um, but one of my favorite days of the week because we get to play something different. Uh, because I used to be a variety streamer. Back uh, ooh, last year, I guess we could say. I was going to say back back when I was newer, but no, it was just last year. And so I played a lot of different variety games here and there. Um, but now that I main a game, which I love, I love maining Dead by Daylight, I've missed doing variety here and there. So every Friday we do a variety game. It's not every Friday. I do have to take a Friday off every three weeks. But um, every Friday that's not that day, we play a variety game and today we're gonna check out this one I don't know really much about it I've seen a lot of people play it um, I tried to stay away kind of from spoilers because I knew it was something I wanted to check out eventually and I kind of forgot about it honestly until um, I think it was like yesterday or I don't know my dates are all mixed up I think it was yesterday I was trying to decide like what do I want to play tomorrow on stream I have something we're gonna play after and that was gonna be what we we're gonna play but uh, I wanted to sneak in something else as well and I remembered this game for some reason. And we're gonna check this one out. So it's called The Baby in Yellow. I don't really know much about it, other than it's a horror game. And I'm kinda anxious to play it. I have no idea what to expect. Cause I've seen, like I said, lots of people play it. I've seen lots of YouTube videos going up from my favorite content creators and um, I was like, okay, okay. Um, it looks creepy. Not gonna watch much of it cause I don't wanna know what happens. <laughs> Oh boy, this one. Have you played it, Blight? <laughs> Hello, Blight. How are you doing today? How's your Friday treating you? I don't know really what to expect. I'm like, I'm kind of like terrified in a way because babies don't scare me like in real life. Babies don't scare me, but like computer generated babies are creepy. <laughs> so it's like I have, babies in real life don't scare me, but it's the computer generated game ones that can be absolutely terrifying. <laughs> So I don't know what to expect. Y'all saw, like, babies in games remind me of, like, dolls. Um, just because, you know, they're they're computer generated and everything. So everybody knows that I get terrified at dolls in games. Like, when we played Village, House Benevento, that section. Oh, my God. It was the scariest section of the entire game for me because of the dolls in it. Rest of the game, great. I wasn't really scared as much. That terrified me, though, because moving dolls is absolutely scary. So I kind of feel like this is going to have that same kind of feel, even though it's supposed to be a baby. But I have a feeling it's still going to terrify me. <laughs> nope, I don't go good with these style of games, though. Gotcha. This is like the Twilight baby almost. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I, I, I do well with these games. Well, I can do well with these games, but I can get very terrified. <laughs> so we're just going to have to wait and see if I can... Not if I could play it, but how... Well, no, not how well. How long will it take me to get through this game because I'm terrified and I don't want to move on? Because that's a good way to say it. Because it's like the same with like the Mortuary Assistant when we played the demo of that. Terrifying, terrifying. Corpse, kind of like a doll. It's not alive, it's moving, and it's not supposed to be, and things like that. Terrifying. So um, y'all know how I reacted during that little demo. We're just gonna wait and see how I go, how I do in this one. Magic, hello, how are you today? Happy Friday, Magic. I know you're at work, so happy Friday to you. Only a few more hours. It's not a long game. I read, I looked it up really quick. I think it was yesterday, I, my dates are mixed up. It was yesterday, I think I was researching it and I needed something short because um, I have something I wanna play after. Not gonna let you guys know, so be surprised. But um, I wanted something short, like hour, or maybe even two hours, depending, you know, what the game was, um, so that I could play two things today instead of just one. Because the other game I have planned, I don't know how long I'm going to want to play it, because it's a new game to me as well. 
So I, I just wanted to kind of fit in two games today, just in case the second game I play is maybe not as much fun as I think it's gonna be. It's not okay. It's not logging in this. And oh, and is silly. Gotcha. Is it? Uh, it's it's. It's considered horror. I know. I know. Magic's like the queen of horror. She doesn't get scared very often, like me. Does it have like some really good jump scares in it? Because that's what I want. <laughs> I had, like I said, I haven't watched anything about it. I've seen. I saw Magic play it uh, like two weeks ago or whenever it was, and I had her on lurk, but I was trying not to watch because I didn't want to see anything. And then I've seen um, like TikToks or hovers or wherever I may be of some clips i guess you could say from their twitch streams of the game so i've seen like things here and there but i just don't know what to expect for me because y'all know i can be a big baby when it comes to a horror game if it's done correctly so we'll just have to see for me it does have some good good <laughs> it's been a while since we've had a i mean i guess since the mortuary system demo that we've had a good jump scare game for me on here like I said, it's probably the last thing that jump scared me that wasn't an actual horror game, I guess, was Village with uh, House Beneviento because of the the doll section that just absolutely terrified me. I think that's probably the last thing that really terrified me. Not terrified, but really got me with some jump scares. This will sound weird? Okay, what is it? What's up? But while, while that's going, I finished. So last week we played Little Miss Fortune. Freaking amazing game. Loved it. Um, do I have this on my keys here? Just a minute. I switched on my key. Here we go. I have new YouTube videos up for Little Miss Fortune. If you guys want to check it out, it's edited down. Not really much. I mean, the game really didn't have much to edit because it was a story-based game. So you kind of just walk through the story. But it's all up and edited for you. Or part one, at least. There's going to be, I think, Six or seven parts with how I'm editing it. Um, but it's currently up on my YouTube. Part one is up. And then the only thing really edited out is just when I stop to talk to chat and everything. So there's that. And also um, Wednesday's video from stream is also up today. If you guys want to watch last week's stream. Or excuse me, last stream. And uh, yeah, Little Miss Fortune will be going up on my YouTube channel from now to at least next Friday. Is all I have currently scheduled because I'm still uh, working on the edit. <laughs> we don't speak of that monster baby ever. <laughs> no, I agree. I totally agree. I flush the baby down the toilet and put it in the oven at some point. <laughs> I see why you say this will sound weird. <laughs> but okay, I will try and remember that. I, I, It does sound weird, but for this game, I understand. I totally understand. Okay. I will try to do that at some point. And I will be recording this for YouTube today. I don't know if I'll be putting it up on YouTube. Um, I'm going to go to when we go live, or not live, but to the live screen. Um, I will be putting my YouTube uh, screen up just in case I do feel like editing it this out. It's just going to be one of those games where when I'm done, did I feel like I got enough content out of it to put up on YouTube? I've done that before with games. Like, yeah, I'll put this up on YouTube and then I play it and it's like... It was fun. I liked it for stream or whatever, but it's like it's it's not enough for me to want to put up there. So we will be recording it for that, but it'll be until the end that I under, uh, figure out if I really want to use it for YouTube or not. So oh, that is that. So for my mod, yes. Oh no, my bot's not here. Just one sec. Yes, I got it. I don't know why stream elements disconnects my bot so often. I thought it was every thirty days, but it's like every other day. All right, there, my bot's back. But yes, if my, if my mods want to do some shout outs, let me get magic one real quick. She's absolutely amazing. Um, there'll be no shout out clips on the next three. So go ahead and get all your shout outs in if you would like to show off some amazing content creators. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that clip. <laughs> I really like that clip of magic. So that was so good. Thank you, Magic, for giving Blight a shout out. You are amazing. Uh, what? So, what are you doing tonight, Magic? Oh wait, no, I know what you're doing tonight. Are you doing anything else tonight? Are you playing a game tonight? I know, Magic's got something really big and special coming up tonight. So, I guess I could say she's been today at all over her Twitter. Well, if you guys like DND, not DBD, DND, 
please go check out Magic's stream tonight. She is playing her first D&D one shot tonight and she's super nervous. I know she is, but she's going to do absolutely amazing. So guys, everyone, if you like that kind of stuff, go check it out tonight. I'm going to try my hardest to be there all night if I can. I'll probably be here and there because I have to get up and like bake dinner and stuff, but get everything ready for bed. But I will be there supporting her 100% tonight. So if you guys please support her during this, she needs it because she's nervous and she's going to do amazing. Just saying, just saying. So that is what's going on tonight for me. <laughs> Supporting my good friend Magic. So that's what, but that's what we're doing today on my stream. We're playing this game, seeing what it's like, and then, yeah, we'll be recording it for YouTube and that's about it. Um, I don't think I have really anything else to say. If you guys are DBD players, log in today for 50,000, uh, is it 50,000? I think it was 50,000 uh, BP if you uh, need BP. Uh, go ahead and log in. It's 50,000 today. I think there was one yesterday, too, and I didn't log in because I didn't turn on my streaming computer to keep my room cool for the day. So I missed that one. But there is a login reward currently for 50,000. I don't know how long that's going to be because it's been the last three days uh, for that if you need BP. And I got it. And uh, on Monday, we'll be playing more DVD and we'll see what it's like. Still hearing a lot of the same stuff. Some people being tunneled and camped out of the game. I guess I got lucky. I guess I got really lucky or something because I didn't really have any of that on Wednesday. I'm like one of the very few people I've seen, at least on my Twitter account, that had an absolute freaking blast. I love the new DVD. It is so much fun, but I understand a lot of people are having some problems in the game with the update and everything, but I didn't get to experience it, so I can't complain. I absolutely had a blast. I had like two tunnelers maybe. But that's expected. I had tunnelers before the update, so it wasn't really a surprise when I got like one here and there, or even like maybe two in a row. But I, I'm just considering myself extremely lucky, I guess, because I didn't have any issues. I had an absolute blast. I loved it. I can't wait to play more. Um, I probably, no, I probably won't play any offline for the next few days because I got things I gotta do. So, but I just wanted to say I had a blast. And I'm so sorry if anyone else is not having a blast with the new update because of everything that's going on. So I hope I hope in time it kind of corrects itself or maybe behavior does something. I don't really know what they could do other than maybe nerfing a little bit of the killer side. But even then, I think if they nerf the killer side, we're going to get a bunch of killer people saying the exact same thing. So who knows? Who knows? That's just what's going on in the world of DVD. And since I'm a DVD main, I just wanted to put that out there and kind of tell you guys that. So... So let's hop over to my live screen because I'm ready to play. So this is my YouTube screen. Everything is the same except for when my mods give shout outs. There will be no clips for you guys uh, because it's a little bit easier if I do use this screen or this is for YouTube. It's a lot easier to edit around like a quick alert that I got a follower or even a sound command I could either edit around or leave it in because you guys did so amazing. With the sound command, it's scaring me. I think on my Mortuary Assistant demo, I left in the one Magic did that was so perfectly timed that it, I thought it was in the game. I left that one in because it was so good. Um, so you never know. It might get left in for a YouTube video if it's well-timed. And um, yeah, so you guys can use sound alerts. Um, they are in the panels below. They are biddies, so there's that. Um, and everything else is the same. We have still everything. It's just only shout-out commands because... Those are very random. Well, no, alerts are random, but they're short. But the shout-out clips are about 30 seconds and harder to edit around if I do use it for YouTube. So that is that. Let me turn the music off because we don't need it. Um, oops. I redid all of my sounds. So I have new sound sources. I, I can't, like, put this up or down. I have to use what they want. Well, damn. <laughs> I could turn it down to my earphones, but I was gonna like edit it in a little bit. I mean, adjust it for us, but I guess I'm, I'm stuck with this sound. Um, if it's too loud, let me know. If it's too soft, let me know. From my mixer, it looks like it should be good for you guys. It's about where I like to keep games, but I don't know what kind of sounds we're gonna get in this game. So if you can't hear something, please let me know. I will adjust accordingly. So night, what is this new plushie? Should I click this first? Oh, this goes to, oh. Oh, you can actually buy a plushie. I'm sorry. I thought this was something in the game. Well, it's sold out. 
But if you want a terrifying plushie of the baby in this game, you can click that and go get it, but, um... It's sold out, so never mind on that. What are these? Oh, secrets! Okay, well, we'll just leave that there. What's the bee? Huh. Eh. I'll leave that off because it was off. Okay. Night one. The sitter. It's time for bed. The child. Is that what you think? Oh, no. Child with its own mind. So, the baby in yellow, act one, scene two. That's, I guess, what that's from. Press here to start. So, move is a WASD. Left mouse click, right mouse click, crouch, full screen. Technically, it's on full screen, so I think I'm okay. Pause, it's escape, or P. Okay, let's go! Let's see what this game is all about. Also, it has a new update. So, bed, or, I think that's what I said, or like a month ago, it had update or something. So, bedtime stories. What's new? Updated the house. New activities added for nights one through three. New secrets and collectibles to find. Added a gift from the doctor. I don't know who the doctor is, but if he's anything as terrifying as Dead by Daylight, that might be an issue. Also, really quickly, if you guys... This game is free. If you guys want to check it out, I put in chat for you guys a little bit of info about it. If you like it, though, or even play it, I do highly suggest donating to help the developers out because it's always... Always a good idea if you enjoy the game, you know, help them out because they, they're they giving you this for free. So, you know, if you loved it as much as others have or whatever, you just are an amazing person or, and don't ever feel like you have to. If you are financially not able to, don't worry about it. But always consider donating when there's a free game out there and the developer does that because it's always a good idea to help them out because they put a lot of work probably into this game. And they deserve all the love if it is well done. So we'll see. But that is the info right there for you guys about the game. If you want to read about it, download it for yourself. Whatever else you want to check out on their page there, it is linked in chat for you guys. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my gosh. Is there like a... Is there like a the look sensitivity? There we go. Holy crap. Okay. Okay. Oh, that is so much better. Okay. Hello, baby. You are absolutely terrifying. What do I need to do? Oh, feed the baby. I'm sorry. Go back. Is it awkward that there's, like, no foot sounds? Or it's very soft? What am I doing? Feeding the baby. Get a bottle from fridge. All right, baby. Here you go. Change baby. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. Because I can't even hear it very well. Just a bit. I'm trying to find the freaking thing on my... My thing. Hopefully this isn't going to be too loud. Let's go, like, right there. Ragdoll physics, right? Daddy, hello! How are you doing today? All right, we're going to try that volume. Because, like I said, even for me, it's really soft. All right, change the baby. Take baby to changing table. Oh, God. Oh, God. Where's the changing table? <laughs> Bart, you stay there, baby. I gotta go find the changing table. I'm not carrying you everywhere. Oh. Not... Oh, oh I thought that was something scary. Okay. Oh, here it is. Okay. I'm coming back, baby! Oh, there. All right, let's go! You are absolutely terrifying! Why am I holding you like this as well? Oh, that's a cot. Where the frick is a changing table? It's not story time yet. No, that's not a changing table? I don't have 
children? I don't know what a changing table is. Let's go. Where is the changing table? Is it down here? Fine, I'm carrying you everywhere with me. Oh, it's in this bathroom. Here it is. Oh, get a new nappy? Wait, wait, wait. This game's so confusing. Oh, is this it? Got it. Where'd my baby go? Why did my baby leave? What is this? Why are you blinking? Free soul! Run. That's terrifying. That's absolutely terrifying. <laughs> I'm okay, though, in pain from doing- Oh, from doing yoga earlier. My back is acting up even. Though I didn't do anything different than usual. Oh, no. Denny, I'm sorry. I hope your back gets better. I know that feeling, though. I know. I've done yoga in the past. So I've had that happen where I've done yoga, and I'm like, I should feel better. I should, and, you know, I should, everything should be fine, and then it hurts later. Magic told me that. Magic told me I had to put the baby in the toilet and the oven at some point. So I- I'm going to be doing that because I, you know what, this baby's gonna probably terrify me. I'm gonna want to put it in there. Playing off Sims Universe rules, and I apologize if it's really soft. Like I, it's the the sounds are soft, but the like when I just clicked that and freed that freaking soul, whatever that was, that sound was okay. But I feel like the ambiance sounds like of me walking and everything is very soft but i can't turn it up much more or the jump scares are going to absolutely blow my eardrums out so that is what i'm going off of right now that is what i'm going off of right now first i gotta find where the hell my baby went don't give me that look why did you morph? Why did you morph over there? I gotta put you in the toilet, apparently. What? Go in the toilet. No. Wait, do I have to flush it? Stop. though i have to admit that was funny thank you brad for shouting out magic even if it's it's okay it's okay but i do hope so as well i need to go sh oh i need to go shopping tomorrow i do yoga to not be in pain so hopefully it feels okay tomorrow i understand yes same i used to do the same and then for some reason some days it would be more shut up baby for some reason some days it would be a little bit more i don't know painful for some reason but I hope you feel better tomorrow, Denny. And get a lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of good food tomorrow. Best babysitter ever! Beat babysitter? I mean, I'll take beat babysitter. <laughs> I am. I put the title of my stream, Very First Babysitting Job, because I've actually, in real life, never fully had a babysitting job. I've, you know, babysitted while, like, mom's in the other room or whatever, but not all alone. So this could be interesting, you know? This is probably what I would really do. <laughs> but that scared me. I didn't really realize he was gonna come flying back out of the toilet. I thought I flushed the baby forever. All right, baby, I guess I'll change you. You're getting a little upset, aren't you? All better! Take baby to bed. First, I have to put you in the oven. I heard that's a thing I need to do. now he was very upset before but now that he's been put in the oven and totally oh, i didn't close the fridge uh and launched out of the oven he's all happy now <laughs> and thank you brad for giving blight a shout out as well not or now the oven but you said not the oven i was like wait a minute you sold me the oven now the oven 
All right, let's go. See, now he's all happy. Now he's extremely happy. You know, he had this angry or upset face before. Now that we put him in the oven, he is all happy. What am I doing? Taking baby to bed. Okay, whoops. Let's go, baby. Can I put him, like, anywhere else? Can I put him in the wash? Can I put you in the washing machine? Ah. Uh-oh. It's funny. Boo! It was still good, though. You know what? Now he's all clean. Or dry. I don't know. All right, baby. Where are you going? Here? Oh, find the storybook and sit down. Okay. Oh. Pardon? Pick up cat storybook. <gasps> Prince and the cat? Oh, you're gonna love this! Stop staring at me! Across the shore, in distant lands, with dark stars overhead, the prince was fast asleep until a cat jumped on his bed. I found a secret garden, said the cat with much delight. Excitedly, they ran outside, explorers in the night. <laughs> I know they I like this story to the story too, baby. Garden gate. Look at the pretty trees. They walked along the pretty pebble path. Look at the colorful flowers. They walked past the fabulous flowing fountain. Look at the dancing water. Look, look, look. But the prince didn't like the garden and started kicking down the trees. He dug up flowers, grabbed the hedges, and pulled off all the leaves. He ruined everything for fun. The cat watched on in fear. What a mistake I made, the cat cried out. I should never have brought him here. <laughs> oh! That was a quick story. Oh, thank God. Okay, he's asleep. <laughs> you know, like how I turned very slowly there because I was kind of terrified of what was going to happen? Uh, lovely story! Loved it. Can I... Before we do anything else, can I just like... There you go. Oh, I was trying to turn off the light. Oh, toy box locked for four more souls. Okay. Anything else I can interact with? Oh! <laughs> that is an absolutely great marketing. Pick up the baby. Order now! Baby in yellow plushie! I actually looked. It's sold out at the moment. But um, whenever it comes back in stock, if you want this lovely, lovely baby plushie, you can support the developers and take home your very own baby in yellow. Lovely. Um, I'll put you back up there. Whoops. Now you're fine there. All right. Leave and close the door. Okay. I got to touch everything, okay? Okay. I have to touch everything. Okay, I touched everything. Bye! Wait for parents. Watch TV on the sofa! Oh, I can do... God dang, why did that scare me? Where the hell is the sofa? Oh, I see. Let me collect this soul real quick. Run. Chill out on sofa! It's fine! It's totally fine. Oh, I'm getting sleepy. Settle, baby. All right, can I close this? Open doors are not good. I don't want to know what's in there. Blah! Ah, Jesus, no! Who opened a door? I have OCD. Oh, that actually washed something. Baby? Oh, a soul. Just a minute. Hide. Hide? I'm good. 
Play recording one of five? Snow. A curiosity in July. Following such a sweet spring. Oh baby, I'm holding I'm watching a recording. This job. Listening to a recording. But I was not the first. They are with me. Night fell the first day, and the hours dragged on. Still we cared for the child. Is this the parents? Like recording, trying to like warn me of this child? We spoke of Hastur and Casilda in their absence. While outside the fog rolled in as the cloud waves roll and break on the walls. Alright, we're in recording four or five. Oh the sin of such innocent eyes. Clear as crystal. Understood by the ignorant and wise alike. More precious than jewels. More soothing than music. More awful than death. Then, as I fell, I knew that the baby in yellow had opened their tattered mantle. And there was only God to cry to now. I think this is the father trying to ward me. that door all right well I'll leave you there where's the baby oh what you doing down here settle baby all right I just poked him it's fine it's all good uh, take baby to bed okay what are you doing do you want to be put in the oven again can I get you to go through here oh one oh now you're happy okay what happens if I do this like multiple times I need more souls. Okay. You wanna watch TV? I know it says put you to bed, but here. Let's watch TV together. I can't sit. Alright, fine. I'm taking you to bed. That key kind of scared me. Alright, go back to bed. Oh, Jesus! What the? Correct plushie in there? You don't like the rabbit? He's so cute though. What do you want? You want the sheep? Oh. Okay, not the sheep. The kitty cat? <laughs> ah, you like the kitty cat. Okay, okay. Let me put that back because I have OCD. And uh, everything must go. Can't get this one to go. You know what, fine, that one's staying on the ground. Night, baby! That one's staying there. Uh, chill out and watch TV on the sofa again. What is this key, and why can't I use it? I'll just leave it there. It's all Gouda. Why does that make that sound? I'm gonna look around for a minute. I'm just kind of curious, like, is there anything else I can do that's, like, a secret or something? Pick up plate, pick up mug. Can I crouch? Yes, I can. I forget the controls. I, I know it's WASD and then pick up and stuff, but I have totally forgotten all the controls nonetheless. <laughs> hint? What kind of hint? Hello, Mia. How's it going? How have you been? Cooking for nappies? The only cookbook you'll ever need? Volume 2. <laughs> Volume 2. So, the second cookbook you'll ever need. Eat your inner demons? No, thank you. S speak no cooking? Oops. Oh, speak no cooking, hear no cooking, see no cooking. Okay. Okay. Well, I have OCD. I have to close everything I opened. Take an egg. That was fun. Ah! Oh my god, I wish... I wish my trash can did this! Oh, they need to invent a vacuum trash can! That 
I don't have to clean up my kitchen that I make a mess of every time I cook. Alright. He goes to something in the laundry room. Oh, okay. Okay, let me go check. Let me go see. I didn't even notice anything in the laundry room. I just assumed it went to a locked door. Alright. Let's go see. That's my recordings. What is that? I don't see anything my key goes to. Is it like later? Oops, I threw it. I played all the recordings. I opened that, that's just a normal TV. This doesn't open. That's not a thing. Oh! I have to- Oh my god, that's right. I forgot that was up there. <laughs> Look up. <laughs> I saw that at the beginning of the game when I was walking by looking for the changing table. And I forgot it was already up there. Okay, let me do this. That is so funny that I totally forgot that was there. Cause I even like I walked by this room and it for some reason scared me because I saw something glowing and I'm just like, okay, cool. Five minutes later, I already forgot. All right, let's climb the ladder. Thank you, magic, because honestly, I probably would never have seen that again. Cause it's gonna start ramping up and I'm gonna be terrified of what's going on in the game and never think about it again. All right, going up. Oh my gosh, lovely artwork. Why did the ambiance change up here? Excuse me? I, I really do like this artwork though. It's actually kind of cool looking. Prince. Just follow the blue for Prince. Oh, it's the cat in front of me making that noise. Ah, oh, Jesus. Black cat approaches. I love black cats. What? Oh! <laughs> the black cat arrives. In 2022. Ah! No! Why do that to me? Why do that to me? I thought there was gonna be something really cool with a black cat. Well, there will be, just not yet. That looks super spooky. So far, this game, this game's supposedly gonna be spooky. I'm just not sure how spooky or if I'm gonna get scared. Well, that was actually really cool. I'm glad I found that. Or I'm glad magic told me where it was because I probably would never have looked up again. <laughs> you guys have seen me play games before, right? I don't remember what game it was, but for some reason there was a game, and, and even in Resident Evil Village, because um, I'll say it this, because Resident Evil Village, there were these bird cages you could shoot and get things. They were up higher because they were bird cages. Never saw them. Never saw them till like the end of the game, and I missed so many of them because I don't freaking look up in games. Even though that's probably a given you should, but I never do look up. And even though I saw that earlier, I already forgot about it, so. I'm super glad I found that, though. I'm super glad we got to see that, I should say. I didn't find it. <laughs> I, I like this room, though. I really do like this artwork. Even that is creepy, but I love it. All right, that was awesome. Watch TV. This is how dumb I am. There's little blue footprints here and right there to show me that, and I still didn't even notice. All right. Anyways, gotta go watch TV now, so that the demon baby may wake up. The Lake of Halley, a visitor guide. Mysteries of the Hades. I guess. Repetition of how to repair them. 
All right, chill it out on the sofa. Watching my favorite TV show, The Orange Screen. Night two. Well, that's successful. Night one, easy peasy. Night two, the child laughing. Look, look, isn't it funny? The sitter. I told you not to do that. The baby in yellow. Act two, scene one. Okay, I was looking at the controls, make sure I had everything correct, I do. All right, night two. Get a bottle from fridge. Where are you now? All the door. Whoa, what is with these people? Close the doors. I know what that is. I mean, it's like a nice painting, but. All right, baby. You want a piece of bread? An egg? Toast? Wait, can I? Give me my bread back. <laughs> Even the bread shoots out of there! I thought that was a baby thing! Fine! I was trying to have some toast! I don't want demon toast! Oh, I can actually make a sandwich? Oh, just a minute! This might be something later in the game, but I'm gonna be proactive because it's fun. Some meat! Just a minute, baby! Me first! Tomato, I hate onion! What the hell is this? Ew, no, put it back. No. You know what? Mushrooms can go down there. Pickles! Oh, hell yeah! Pickle! Extra cheese. Cheese. Extra cheese, because me love cheese. And a sandwich. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. What have I done with my life? No, no, no. No! Pick up ham. Oh, I want a turkey. Okay, I made me a sandwich. No, oh, Jesus! Uh, baby, your bottle's gone. You're not eating anymore. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the kitchen. Find the bottle. Oh, found it. Easy. Where'd you come from? Well, I'm glad you're happy. If I put you here, are you gonna stay this time? Don't move. Jesus, that. I don't know why that scared me. It's fine. Yeah, I'm angry too. Your diaper just took off. Your baby, your 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 diaper has eyes. Oh, hey, hey, hey! Don't eat my sandwich. That was for me. Okay, sandwich is safe. It's all okay. <laughs> I'm literally chasing a diaper around a room. Where'd you go, diaper? Oh, god damn it. Don't do that. Stop. 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 Come back. Oh, now you've got... <laughs> now he's an educated diaper because he has glasses on. <laughs> would you would you stop? Am I supposed to click you? You're not supposed to be in here. This is mom and dad's room and it's told so we're no. We're not supposed to be in there. Well, I guess I have to go in here. No. Nope. <laughs> now I'm going to have to explain why there is a wall oh hold on
One of these parents is an absolutely amazing artist, I must say. Because those are freaking amazing. Those are amazing. Need sitter for June 3rd. All right, must be today. Bedtime routine. Why is this in the bedroom? Bottle prep snacks. Camilla, that's her number. Robert C, that's his number. Can I click these? No. Week 98, Jack Elliott, question mark? Okay, really quickly, I'm gonna investigate this room. No, not an emergency. Okay. So it says you. Boom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Magic has the absolute best timing with that sound command. <laughs> I turned around because I swear something was going to be like behind me or in the doorway. Magic, thank you so much for playing Boo for 50 biddies. And oh my god, you got me again. Ah, oh, what are these days? I'm gonna, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna re realize when I hear it that it, that's a sound, like that's mine, but no. No, I thought it was behind me. I'm taking my diaper and going. My phantom diaper. Where's the changing room? Oh, it's over here. Taking my diaper and going. I found your diaper, baby! Oh. Take baby to bed. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Magic. Alright, let's go, baby! Oh my god, oh! <laughs> that even scared me. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Yes, you did do it again. Thank you for playing that for 75 videos. Oh, uh, that actually scared me too, because I don't know why. I don't know why. It's because I turned around almost at the exact same time that started playing. That actually fits perfect, because that baby did that again too. And here I come, baby. Just a minute, baby. Do you have a day, by the way? Are you just baby in yellow? <laughs> oh, it was, oh my god! <laughs> I know Magic's on her phone so she couldn't see this, but I was literally looking around trying to find the cat. <laughs> If there wasn't that cat thing in the uh, in the attic there, but I thought there was gonna be a cat when I turned around. I closed the door, meow, and I'm like, oh, oh, there's a black cat in our house. Cool. Never saw it. Looked at chat. Magic's magic's push, pu pushing buttons again. <laughs> Baby, I thought we had a kitty cat. I missed. That's fine. I'm taking you to bed. Or something else happens. You wanna sleep in mom and dad's bed? Here. Bed! Oh baby, stop getting so close to my face. Yeah, that's close enough. That looks perfect. Find the storybook and sit down. Oh, we're gonna read the same story again? Oh, no, this is the prince and the rabbits. Okay. Now, get comfy, baby. You look absolutely comfortable. When the rabbit came to visit, the prince said time to play. But his big red eyes, they scared her, and she didn't want to stay. Quickly towards the exit, the tiny rabbit hopped. The prince ran right behind her, and screamed, she must be stopped. What the hell? I was enjoying the story! I literally am sitting like back in my chair like, oh, another great bedtime story. Let's go. Find the correct plushie. Well, I'm assuming since we were reading about the rabbit that he wants the rabbit. Ah, see, I caught on. Me smart. 
Alright, I'm gonna pick up this book. Don't do that again. Back to my story. <laughs> Through dark corridors he chased her. Hop, hop, hop. A relentless, futile flight. Hop, hop, hop. Round and round I go pick up my drink, the just palace, in, case. in and out of space and sight. Hop, hop, hop. The prince, he couldn't catch her. His heart was filled with wrath. The rabbit slipped right out the door and vanished down the path. The prince cried out, I need new friends. More, now, another. I'll bring you some, don't worry now, replied his loving, caring mother. The end. Thank you, Magic, for playing Boo again. <laughs> that one didn't get me, that one. That one, I, I, I was smart. It didn't get me that time. <laughs> that was a lovely... Oh, you're asleep. Where's your plushie? Oh, no. Well, anyways, good night, baby. Watch TV and chill out on the sofa. Can do! That one got me too. <laughs> Cause I was almost walking by a door with that played. <laughs> I looked at this door. See, if I wouldn't have closed that door, I wouldn't have thought that it was knocking. But I closed all the doors because they have OCD. You know what? You know what? I'm opening them. I'm opening them. Then if there was a knock, that it's not gonna be an open door. <laughs> Thank you, Magic, for playing the realistic Donkey for 75 biddies. Oh, freaking knocking! I heard it and looked around. <laughs> Magic did not only get me, but he got she got you too, Denny. <laughs> Cause I was walking down the stairs and I even looked at the kitchen door and I was like, Who's in the kitchen? If I wouldn't have closed that door, I would never have got I would have I, well I probably would have thought I heard knocking, but I've been like, wait a minute, the door's open. How's it knocking? I will close these though. All right, doors are open, except for the front door. Can I actually just say bye? See you later. Oh, I can actually go out here. Bye. I'm stealing your mail. Can I actually go with any of these? Bye, baby. <laughs> I'm leaving. Babysitter said she's had enough. Steal package. Closed for maintenance. Well, that's not good. Call elevator. Fine. All right, nope, nothing out here yet. Well, this tells me that that's the exit, so I thought we were in a house. I didn't realize we were in an apartment. 10, we're on number 10. Lucky number. Maybe I should leave that open. Then if magic does that again, I'll know all those are open and it's not that. We'll probably close though as soon as I do, as soon as I progress here. Okay, this is real. This is real. There is somebody at the door now. Ha, we have a doorbell. You can't do the knocking anymore. <laughs> How did this get down here? Hold on, I have a demon rabbit. It's okay. Oh, God damn. <laughs> that one gets me no matter what. Oh my god, that one gets me every time, no matter what game I'm playing. <laughs> Hold on! There's somebody shooting in the house! Probably the baby. Wouldn't put it past this demon baby. <sighs> Thank you, Magic, so much for playing that. <laughs> Cause I it terrified me. That, but that one gets me every single time. If you guys ever want to jump scare me, I promise you that one will probably get me like 99.9% .9 of the time. All right, I'm coming! Shush! No. Oh, Toasty 4000! I thought I said something else. This box is talented, man. It pushed that doorbell 100 million times. Put the box. Oh, I thought 
thought that was the baby. <gasps> I thought that was the baby. I turned around and I thought the baby was going to be sitting there. And then I realized it said avocado and I was like, yeah, the baby doesn't talk, does it? <laughs> Magic, thank you so much for playing. An avocado! I'm actually glad that was a baby sound because I thought that was the baby for a sec. What's a lounge table? Oh. Never mind. A lounge table is apparently a dinner table. Finally! Some peace to watch TV. No. No! I want to use Toasty 4000! First, I gotta investigate where this rabbit went. I wanna toast my sandwich! Okay, I go, I'm gonna go see where the fuzzballs go up to. This might be a bad idea. Mom and dad don't like their room open. Oh, I can't. It won't even let me go see where the fuzzballs went. I'll go get some peace and watch TV. I want to use Toasty 4000, though. Favorite TV show! Orange! Is this like Orange is the New Black? Night 3. Well, Night 1 went great! Or, excuse me, Night 2. We were on Night 2. Night 2 went great! Nothing happened. We got a delivery. It was all wonderful. Music is loud, but the rest of the game is so soft. I hear that magic. <laughs> I hear that. The music in the game is a little overpowering it though, but I can hear Vecna's clock plug in the background. Is it over? Damn it. <laughs> I went, I finally figured out how to do it. I was gonna pause it or mute it so I could hear it, but. Thank you, Magic, for playing a Vecna's Clock for 200 biddies. You are absolutely insane, but you are absolutely amazing at the same time. I couldn't figure out what, I could hear it like in the background, but the music to this game on these screens is kind of loud compared to like the overall sound effects of the game are a little soft. And I haven't pushed up really high to the sound so we could hear it. Night three, the sitter. Good night, sweet dreams. The child, I will show you my dreams. Oh, that sounds pleasant. That sounds absolutely pleasant. The baby in yellow, act three, scene three. This sounds like a great time. They're gonna show us their unicorns and all that fun stuff. Oh, baby, I'm here. Your favorite babysitter in the whole wide world. <gasps> toasty is open. Oh, I can't play with the Toasty? Boo. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Nothing's even happening yet. That's still got me. <laughs> I'm over here trying to open the Toasty Maker, and I got scared of the boo. I'm so happy I added that one. Because <laughs> I added that one myself through sound, whatever the thing is called, the sound place, and... I'm so happy I did because I love it. I love it. Thank you, Magic, for playing Boo again for 50 minis. I appreciate you. <laughs> and even getting scared when I'm literally sitting here staring at a toasty maker. I want to actually really quickly, I want to go look at something. What does it say? Watch TV. Nah, I'm good. I want to go look at something really quick. Why was there demon eyes on this poster or picture all of a sudden? I didn't like that. I didn't like that. There was demon eyes on this photo. And I thought there was going to be like a demon around the corner and there's not. Thank you, Brad, so much for giving magic a shout out. I want to see if this changes. No. Okay. Because... This is technically night three, so I, I thought maybe like every day it would change like need babysitter for June 4th or something. Because technically this is night three. Still, I didn't get in trouble for the giant hole in mom and dad's room. But nothing changed in here. I thought maybe something would. Still can't go in there though. All right, uh, I don't have to do nothing. I don't got 
do nothing. It says, chill out, watch some of my favorite show, Orange is the New Black. In all honesty, I've actually never seen that show, but... Oh, that is... Now I never know what's the game or not. <laughs> I'm like, uh... Baby crying. Oh, go upstairs and settle, baby. Sorry. Oh, it's garbage. I see. I see, I see, I see. All right, baby. You have demonic photos in this house. Just say it. Hi, baby! Book! You're welcome. Leave and close the door. I don't know if I want to do that, but... Go to sleep! Oh! Find something to eat! Perhaps a cheese toasty! Yes! Oh, yes! Always waiting for something to happen. Cheese toasty! Open toasty maker. Yes. Place bread. Add toasty fillings, then bread to finish. It says cheese, so I'm gonna make a cheesy toasty. Deja vu. Oh, I've been in this place before. Higher on the street, and I know it's my time to go. Deja vu cheese. <laughs> I picked up the cheese and that went off at the perfect timing, so I thought the cheese was singing. <laughs> I'm home! Yay! Welcome home, Brad. I swear magic is the best timing, because I literally clicked the cheese and that went off. So I thought that cheese started singing deja vu at me. Deja vu! We have cheese in our hand! Nice cheese. Can I put whatever I want on here? Add toasty fillings. It says perhaps a cheese toasty. So I'll make a cheese toasty. No, you know what? Your girl... Loves her some cheese, so we're putting cheese. Oh, yeah, look at all that cheese. All right, a cheese toasty. Oh, no, I don't want to feed you. I, I wanted to feed me. That was my toasty! Run. Much. What about <laughs> Be quiet. This is, this is a ninja mission. <laughs> Thank you, Magic, for playing both of those for 75 biddies. That is still freaking amazing. This is a ninja mission! This is a ninja mission to find my cheese toasty! Monster. What? Pardon? I'm the monster? Whoever blew up my cheese toasty is the monster here. Uh, maybe the baby wants an egg. I know there's a bottle here at the bottom. All right. Walk in. Walk in. Uh, refrigerator. Love it. Love it. All right, baby. Uh. Oh, God. No, don't. Stop. No. Don't be closing the... Th you know what? It's nice cool in here. It's like 95 degrees where I'm at today, so I'm perfectly fine in here. All right, fine. I gotta take the long way out of the freezer. Oh, hell. Which way do I go? Maybe he wants wine. Oh, I can't even drop the bottle. Maybe he wants a bottle of wine. Oh, ha. Easy. I don't know, maybe it was just going to trigger no matter what, but easy peasy! Oh, how convenient. My fridge goes to the room across the way. Yeah, I know! I know! I know! Someone blew up my toasty. I'm angry too. Here. Here. Take the baby to the changing table. Wait. I have to play with some toys first. Basketball, train, block, Dr. Balloon, question marks. In other words, demon baby. Spawning lots, probably lots of toys. May affect performance. I'm gonna spawn one of everything. Oh, 
Oh, that's just, okay. That's all, multiple things. Dad Slipper! Oh, my favorite! My train, my block, my rubber ducky now. The most amazing doctor in the whole wide world. Oh, I was trying to throw it at the baby. Here, have Dad's slipper. Okay, cool. Let's go, baby! Nothing's wrong. The kitchen is fine. I'll get my toasty later, I guess. Uh, change the baby. Yeah, uh-huh. Demon diaper? Oh, nothing happened that time. Well, this is fine. <laughs> Wonderful. Where was the emergency glass? Was it here? Ah! God damn, don't do that! Emergency! Glass! Pacify, where are you? Pacify the baby! Where'd you go, demon child? Here, take this. Stop! It's fine. It's fine. That was lovely. That's normal. Look what you've done. Hope. Oh. Go. You're such a good baby. Take to the bedroom. Yeah, you're going. You bad baby. Bad, bad. Oh, oh, oh. No, put put those demon eyes away. No. Oh, good. Bedtime story. He took himself to bed. I don't have to worry about it. He took himself to bed. It's all good. Settle down! Done. Done. I told him. I can't go back downstairs. <laughs> Maybe stop that in there. Don't be booing me. <laughs> Thank you, Magic, for playing Boo for 50 bitties. <laughs> I wish that was the baby. I really wish that was the baby because that was a lot more calming now than what this baby has done to me so far. Poke! Poke! Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Sit there. Shut up. Put the correct plushie in the clock. Uh, the clock. And the cl cl uh, The cot! I don't know what's what's demonic. Do you want your your plushie there? Here, there you go. I don't know. I thought that was perfect. Kitty cat? Nope. Josh, I've given you all these before. No. Sheep? Oh, the print and the sheep. I forgot. I knew it was in the book, but we hadn't read the book yet, and I got all puzzled. Find the storybook and sit down. Perfect. Oh, time for a nice relaxing. Don't you sit up. Prince and the sheep. Oh, play. It was cold throughout the palace. The moon shone bright outside. The wind, it blew and blew. Oh, no. The curtains flew open wide. I ain't gonna be as relaxed this time Prince during the story. Was in his bed and couldn't get to sleep. So he called out for his mother, please go and find my sheep. Oh I'm thirsty, said the prince. So the sheep fetched a drink. I'm dirty, <laughs> said the prince. So the sheep changed his clothes. I'm tired, said the prince. Let me count you. One, two, three. Oh, oh. Just one more thing, said the prince. Before I drift to sleep, he opened up his big red eyes and turned to face the sheep. Come join me in my dreams, 
stay forever in my head. Obediently, the sheep stepped forth, its mind consumed by dread. By dread. <laughs> run and then the game's like good night <laughs> escape unlocked follow the right bleh, follow the white rabbit and escape from the baby oh my gosh thank you magic for playing that and also the realistic knocking i heard it but it was right when the story was starting i can go cut you from the knocking <laughs> with love of course of course of course I swear, I need to put the longer one on there probably because the shorter one, I hear it, but sometimes I don't hear it. I heard it those times, but I do need to put the longer one on there, I think. I think it would be better. Continue. So is that the end of the game? Yes, but it said uh, it unlocked something. So maybe we'll like play through it one more time and then just kind of look at some more I mean we won't like mess around as much we'll literally like do exactly what the game says because they only found uh, first run through they've only found six of 12 secrets so I'm wondering do you have to play this game multiple times to find all these secrets or if I just not wasn't paying attention as much as much I don't think that you have to play multiple times to find some of these secrets so what not the end okay okay Hey, Magic, what is the... Do you know what the little bee in the corner means? There's, like, this bee in the corner of the front screen that you click and it lights up and it doesn't light up. And I have no idea what the bee is. I was just curious if you did. Not the end. And try the elevator? Okay, okay. We'll keep playing then. I kind of figured there had to be um, more because I technically didn't find everything. But... For, well, we'll take a break for here just for a sec, but that actually was really good. <laughs> that first run through of it was really good. I liked it. I'm still upset about my cheese toasty though, because I am hungry. Not really, I'm not that hungry, hungry but I want, I put extra cheese on that. You don't? Okay, I, I don't either. It doesn't say and I click it and it just lights up and then it doesn't light up. So I was like, I thought maybe that was something special or something, but I'll have to maybe like Google it later and see. Cause I don't know, I click it and he lights up to a cute little bee and I just, I unclick him and he's just there, so. All right, but like I said, love it. I loved the first, first time through. So definitely, we're going again. Definitely going again. Cause it also said, uh, you can escape with the right rabbit, so. Bye! <laughs> Game complete. <gasps> oh. Feed the baby, get the bottle from the fridge. Nope. Nope. I'm leaving. Baby can stay in there. Alright. This is a press to descend. Alright, bye. Oh! Oh, okay. Okay. I see. I see. I see. I see. So he was telling me to do that so I could do the next part of the game. Pickman's madness. Quickly towards the exit, the tiny rabbit hopped. The prince and the rabbit. All right, let's go. I don't have elevator music, sorry. Oh, this is fine. Elevators do this all the time. The elevator has landed. Find another ele elevator. Elevator. Run. I love how it says run every time and I'm just like, yeah, cool. Uh, find another elevator, follow the white rabbit. 
It's like Alice in Wonderland. I love it. Can do. Can do. I love Alice in Wonderland. I want to steal everybody's not garbage, but packages. Through there? Sounds good. What's this say, though? A. Pikmin. Let me in! Fine. Oh! Oh, hi, baby! Oh! Bye, baby. Unlock door to elevator. Catch the baby. Oh, no. I need a net. We're not supposed to be in here. This isn't our home. Sweet guitar on the wall. Oh, goody. I was walking. Oh, look at these. <gasps> Strum guitar. Love it. Hold on, baby. We're in a new place. Pick up piano music. I said, hold on. I gotta, I gotta do stuff. I gotta touch everything in this place. I don't know what that was. Piano music looks wonderful. I don't read music. Would you like a watermelon? <laughs> Thinking that's a no. Beckness coming. Run. That was actually that fighting that soul went absolutely perfect with this sound bit playing. Baby, stop! I freaking loved that. I'm so glad I put that. Hey, more piano music. So glad I put that in. That stop it! Wherever you're going, I gotta put this with the other pl 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 piano, piano music there. Maybe didn't want watermelon though. Oh, these are actually best <laughs> award for best horror soundtrack. Nominated for best debut album. Award for worst A. Text has been scratched out. The award is hung upside down. Turning your head, you read. Nominated for best use of color in music. A yellow sign. Stop, baby! I'm trying. Get off the ceiling! I'm trying to read! Basil Casilda's Dreamscape. At the shore of Halley, I'm assuming. Close us. Hey, baby. I gotta look at everything. Magic, thank you so much for cheering for th with 38 biddies. You are absolutely amazing. And thank you again. I didn't say that, but thank you again for playing the Vecnux Clock for 200 biddies as well. You are absolutely amazing super kind and I love you so much I appreciate that so much I appreciate all of the jump scares I do because this game hasn't had no this game has had some jump scares <laughs> this baby won't just calm down for like five seconds while I'm talking but I absolutely love that you guys can use the sound bits to absolutely terrify me in certain times I just want to see if there's anything else. I'll put you in the oven again, baby. I have no problem with that. Ah! Nope. I probably have to trigger something to catch him, but I'm, I want to look at everything. Oh, pick up more piano music. Oh, this is lovely! King's Lullaby, I think is what it... Where'd that go? King's Lullaby, I think is what it said. I'll put it all together. Me and music... Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Hold on, baby! Hold on! I want to put this on the piano music and see if it actually does something. It does! I'm all putting it over here with the other one, and I'm just dumb and didn't realize there was a piano over here. Hold on, baby! We're doing other things. Oh, I wonder if I need this. Yeah. I was just going to say, I wonder if I actually needed this to catch the baby. I gotcha. I gotcha. Nope. Is that a Oh. 
Catch the baby failed? No! I thought that's how I caught the baby. Maybe it's, oh, you're always gonna fail, I don't know. Is that a switch? I never saw it. I gotta touch the guitars first. Oh, that one's broken. Stop! Stop, you're scaring me! Okay, I think that's all I could touch. Okay, touch the button, push the button. Who the hell lives here? Crouch? I know, game, thank you. Stop! Going in a secret room here. I think that baby morphing around the room is scarier than anything else. My phone just buzzed and scared me. Oh my god. Well, this is fine. This is great. Pick up record. The king's lullaby. Oh, I thought I could pick up those too. Alright, can do! Can listen to this! Let's go! I didn't even see where to listen to it. I didn't notice a record player. Oh, god damn it, don't do that. Stop. Fix your plumbing. Oh, I see the record player. Would you like to listen to something, baby? I'm taking. Excuse me, that is a yes. <laughs> yeah, you give me that sad face all you want. I got your key. Bye. Where, where did this key go? Oh, outside the door. We're like, I don't know where this key went. Enjoy, baby. Call elevator. Preferably one that works. Yeah, that's a good idea. Damn, power's out. Well, turn the power back on. Oh. Fine, I'll get my steps in for the day. It just says, damn, the power's out. The king arrives soon. Oh. I have to turn the power back on? You telling me a civilian like myself has to do this? Oh, Jesus, no! No! Unlock 43, gotcha! Take a fuse. Well, well, let me see what I gotta do first. What's this say? Restore power to the elevator. Investigate the fuse box. Fuse box. Looks like a fuse box. Elevator status, no power. Okay. Why do these all say like unlock and a number? Or like uh, a lock with a number? Oh, I was trying to take the sandwich. <laughs> I was trying to take the sandwich and I opened Lee's locker. What is with the uh, chess pieces? I'm taking this. Oh! I gotcha! I gotcha! Okay, so 17. But how do I know what order to go in? Like, this is the first one I saw, so number 14? Or, if number 14, number 43? How many were there, though? Oh, okay, there's only four. So, what, 43, 17? Brain, I am. What would that do? I mean, I know it opened this, but okay. Take a fuse. I'm assuming I gotta put fuses in here. Oh, big brain. Please hold on. No, give, give me. Give that back. Thank you. Did you just pop that? It's okay, I got another one. 
I don't know where you came from, but I've got another one. Hide. A soul trap by the baby in yellow has been freed. I'm freeing your souls, baby! <laughs> Stop the baby sealing the fuses. How do I? I know. That's me. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. Now see if you can stop me. Turn it over there. Hopefully it works. I don't like these laughing in that vent. Oh, oh, no. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'll take the same route. I'll take the same route. I'm going out the vent. <laughs> or not the vent. Trash chute. Whatever the hell this is. Never mind. It won't let me. I must go out this door. Can I touch anything else in here before I leave? Any more secrets I need? I'm taking this. Here you go. Don't leave. No escape. Well, I pushed that down and he left. This is the key. Oh, he left too early that time. Um, is this way I'm supposed to be going? I think so. I see you there! You'll regret that, what? Bring in this chest piece? Did I miss any more things that he said on the wall? I was just too busy watching out for everything else. No escape. Coward? Yeah. Yeah, that's me! You'll regret that. Nah, nah, nah. I brought a chess piece. It's all okay. Shush, baby! I got a chess piece! It's okay! Hurry up! Oh, oh my god! I didn't even realize there was something coming at me. <laughs> Good night. Good night, game. I didn't realize something was coming at me. Me, me brain too slow sometimes, okay? Okay. I don't know where to go. Oh, no. Requires him. Oh, key, 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 key. Got it. Got it. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. I don't know which way to go. I don't know which way to go. I'm going this way. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh no! Green, 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 green. Got it. Oh frick! Oh frick! I'm not good at pressure situations like this. Let me free. Oh Jesus! situations like that get me i don't know if i could have done that fast i mean i have to do it faster because that's not the ed but oh my god i didn't realize he was that close and it took me forever to figure out which key i didn't realize i needed two i found the first key really fast and then the second one took me a sec all right let's go again there's no one so can't go any faster than i'm going Probably in the same spot. I don't know where to go here. Oh no! Wait! Where do I go? No! I closed the door hoping that would stop him. I don't know if that tells anything. Oh, frick! Put that key down. Oh, no! Oh, no! I dropped the key! Oh, no! Open up! Oh, I can walk through that. <laughs> oh, go away! Shoot! No! I didn't realize I could walk through that. The exit! Don't leave me alone. Stay here. Stay forever. 
Oh, God, that got me a few times. First time I didn't realize that something was moving at me. So I didn't really rush. And then, what, the second time? Yeah, second time I didn't realize that second door had two keys, so it took me a bit longer. And then I didn't realize when that thing popped up that I could run through it. I thought that was blocking me, so I was like, no! Where do I go? What do I do? Oh! The exit. I'm free from Demon Baby at the moment. Makes it all better. The beautiful music the baby just turned on makes it all better. Uh, feed the baby, get the bottle from the fridge. Are we back in the same house? No. Um. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna look around for a minute. What is this? Pick up the key. Got it! Found it. I don't know what this key goes to, but I'm taking it. No, I didn't want to throw the key. Oh, haha. I don't know if I was supposed to do that yet, but okay. Deja vu. Um, I failed. I, I don't I don't know if I was supposed to do that yet. I I just wanted to explore before I fed the baby. <laughs> Take the baby to bed. He's tired. All right, baby, let's go. Where's bed? Nope, not that way. All right, baby, let's go. I have a lot of choices. Probably this baby's gonna come to lo oh, come alive. He's already alive. Come to demon form before I get there. But probably the door that doesn't have any writing on it. Nope. It's okay, baby. We'll find a bed. I mean, I could just. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> All right, that is the tiniest room I've ever seen. <sighs> Get out of my face. Oh, I see your room. I'm all trying to open every door here. I'm going to do it anyway. And your room is literally right there. Yep, this is your room, all right. Go to sleep. <laughs> Equip hats in the secrets menu. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know where that is. Uh-huh. Take the baby to bed. Complete. Night, baby. Sweet dreams. I'm, I'm kind of sad that I didn't feed the baby there uh, a couple minutes ago because I don't know if anything else would have happened. I was trying to be proactive and find something like a secret somewhere, but... This is Vecna's clock. I'm absolutely 100% convinced to now. Take the baby to bed. He's tired. Take yourself to bed. I already put you in bed. I already put you in bed. Stop getting out of bed and you won't be so tired. Don't look at me like that. I'm not going to try every door this time. <laughs> what is in your room now? Oh, it's the same. Same. Looks the same. Looks absolutely lovely. Go to bed. It's like PT where I'm going like through the same thing over and over again. Frick, don't slam that door. That moved. Take the baby 
to bed. He's a tired boy. White rabbit, don't. All right, I'm not taking you to bed. All right, no, I'm leaving. Frick, no. <laughs> Room. People in this apartment complex don't like babies. All right, you know what? You can do all you want. I ain't taking you to bed. No. You can fly out in any room here. I ain't doing it. You can't make me. No matter how many babies you throw at me. Frick. What if I get hit by one of these flying babies? Bye. <laughs> no. Do not put baby in the cot. Follow green happy arrow. Can do. Oh, it didn't move. I thought it moved. Never mind. Watch TV. You're feeling sleepy. Should I? Or should I just go? Oh. Oh! Frick. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, apparently I probably have to watch the TV. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. Oh! Never mind, I have to escape. I have to escape. Okay. No, you can't make me. You can't make me. No. You can't make me. You can't make me. You can't make me. No. No. You can't make me watch these TVs. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, it's fine. No more TVs. Oh, God damn it. Maybe got his head stuck on the TV. Not looking. Not looking. Not looking. Bye. I'm, I, I kind of feel like I have to fail all these. That's like the point. So let's keep going. Take the baby to bed again. He's a very tired boy. Nah. Nah. I don't want to. Oh, now these hallways are dark and they've got candles. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> oh gosh, just don't do that. No, bedtime. Yep, yeah, bedtime. Let's go, bedtime. That's normal. What the frick is that? Oh, I thought I was supposed to. Ah, ah, what is that? I guess I'm gonna go toward it. Wait, can I go another way? Never mind. Nope, <laughs> gotta go toward it. Oh, now I'm turned around. Which way did I come from? I gotta, I'm gonna walk toward it. <laughs> ah! Oh! Hi! 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 No! Oh, I have to take you to bed. Oh no, I have to take you to bed now. Okay, baby. Don't you sit up. Alright, I'm taking you to bed. Stay there. Sleep. No, I said stay and sleep. No! <laughs> Head down, curled horns proud. Plaintive cry, shrill and loud. Charging lightly into Misty! Something! Didn't get to read the last word. Didn't realize it's timed. Um, okay. Wonderful.
So what do I do? Just, I think, not look at it? literally going in a circle. <laughs> oh, let me get this real quick. Hide. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. Oh. Wait. I'm here. <gasps> do I throw baby off cliff? Oh, I can do that. I thought I thought I was jumping off the cliff. No. I'm putting you down there. I didn't even see that last time. Hi! Don't leave me alone. Afraid. Nah. Vulnerable. Frick, don't do that. It's okay. Too slow. I never, never, any game I play, I usually don't get things the first time through. Oh, you mean I have to walk the whole way again? Could have just put me back in the immediate danger zone? All right. I must run. Well, there's no run in this game. At least if there is, I don't know what it is. Frick! Frick! No! Oh, I thought it was... <laughs> I thought it was killing me. I thought I... It, it got me. Oh. Don't leave. Play hide and seek. Come and find me. I don't want to. Doctor's gift unlocked. Something has unlocked in the lounge. That was 12 of 12. Yeah, you stay in there. What do I do? Play hide and seek. Come and find me. Well, you're right there. <laughs> Done. Easy. I'm taking this rubber ducky. Yeah, this seems safe. Oh, oh, I pushed crouch. Oh, frick. I pushed crouch because I was trying to push shift to run like every other game. Oops. Oops. All right. Still taking this. It's mine. Coward. Yep, that's me. That's me. Ooh, no, open. Stop. Where are you? Oh, I'm going this way. Oh, God, no, I'm not going that way. Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Choo-choo! 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 Ah, oh, bottles everywhere. Freya, with my rubber ducky! Run, little rabbit. You're not the only one. There will always be more. That is a bright screen. Black Cat Approaches, coming soon in 2022. New areas, puzzles, outfits, and lore. In the meantime, you can keep up to date with Team Terrible on Twitter or Discord. 
loved it. Oh my gosh, I loved it. Let me put this, oh, actually I'll leave it off. I wanted to put something in chat for you guys. So if you guys do want more information about this game, there is some information about it. I posted it in the chat for you guys. If you want to play this, download it, donate, check out the next Black Cat Approaches, I guess, is part of this game. I thought that was going to be like a new game from them, but apparently it looks like it's going to be maybe a new part to this game. But I loved that. That was fun. Let me go back here, though. So I unlocked 12 of 12. No hats. Wait. What do these hats do? Party. Pirate hat, I mean. Toy box, black and white, doctors. So are these just like different ways to play? I'm just gonna look at something. So night one, night two, night three, Pikmin, Pikmin and escape. I'm just gonna load into the game real quick and see if that did something. Oh, that puts a little pirate hat on the baby. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought that's what it meant, but I was like, I don't know, maybe not. Wait, there's a right rabbit here now. Wait a minute, what happens if I like just leave now? Night one! Feed the baby! Get the bottle from the fridge! Nah, I'm good. I'm leaving. Bye. Maybe this is a secret. Hair. Elevator system. Oh yeah, this is fine. Just curious what this does. Maybe it takes us back to... Yeah, it takes us back here. That's what I thought it was gonna do. Okay! Okay! I wonder what the B is. So these are just secrets. These are just things to play. I'm assuming big head mode. The baby gets a big head. Ultra low definition. I'm assuming that's the thing. Black and white. Game goes black and white. I'm assuming that's what all that means. But I'm not going to check that out on stream. I will, like, if I want, check those out a different time. I'm kind of thinking because I put the pirate hat on and the baby had a pirate head. So... I loved it. I freaking love it. I'll have to look up if anybody knows what this B does. So, move, interact, drop, cross. Yeah, there was no, there was no run. Okay, because I kept pushing for shift. I kept pushing for shift every time to run, and I never did end up running anywhere, so. There was no such thing as run. Hello, Chuck! Every time I come in on, here on a Friday, I absolutely love the variety in games. Wait, well, thank you, Chuck. Thank you. I, I love Fridays because I love variety. I love playing variety games. I really do. I, I want to play more. Like, I wish I could add an extra day to my stream to do more variety, but I kind of like my schedule right now. It, it's actually working really well for me, and, and especially my mental health. So I'm not going to do that now, but oh, I love Fridays, and I loved this game. <laughs> this game was really fun. And Magic with her bits... Got me a couple times. I think that Meow wouldn't have gotten me if there wasn't that secret about the black cat approaches. or not, It wasn't really a secret, but the black cat approaches. Um, and then I thought when the Meow went off, like, maybe there's a cat in this game. There wasn't. There wasn't. So thank you, Magic, so much for playing or using your biddies to play all those sound commands because they were absolutely perfect. They were perfect. They worked. And she knows how to scare me. She does a good job. But that, that's it for this game. So we're going to switch over to this screen. Because I don't think there's really thinking anything else to see. we got all 12 secrets. They're not really hard to find. Um, they're pretty much right there. And um, it was... It definitely had some good jump scares. It really did. Even the silly parts had a jump scare effect. Because I didn't realize... I'm going to do that. I don't listen to music. I didn't realize that when you would do the silly things. Like put the baby in the toilet. That it came flying out of the toilet at like 100 miles an hour so i loved it and i think magic also for telling me to put the baby in the toilet and in the oven because i would actually probably have never done that i wouldn't have even really thought about doing that so just that little bit of a hidden secret that was it was funny it was funny and, and it, it scared me at first so it, it got me too but i loved that game i highly recommend if you guys want to check it out 
highly recommend it. It was really fun. It's there's no real puzzles to it. It's your basic click, you know, do what the command tells you to do. Click, push, do that. And then there's some jump scares here and there. And then um, there's a couple like running sequences that for me, I always, I'm a little slower. So it takes me a minute to like, once you start running and then they push you, they put a puzzle-ish thing in front of you. I'm like, oh God, what do I do? And then I get usually caught by the enemy because I'm too busy panicking at, like I need to do something and I don't know what it is but Denny told you thank you Denny then because I would never have known I would never have known to put them in the toilet or the oven I would have been like cool there's an oven cool there's a toilet and not really thought about putting the baby in it I put the baby in the washing machine too and I'm sad that didn't do anything I washed the baby that was all it did well it was me as a dryer I don't know Whatever it was, it didn't do nothing. So I was, I was, I was sad. I was sad. The dryer didn't do anything. But thank you, thank you to you both for letting me know. You guys are all amazing. Cause I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have. But again, I, I highly recommend that game. It's really fun. Um, so I appreciate you guys. Uh, understanding. I was. I think I'll put that on YouTube. I was recording it for YouTube. I will probably edit that down a couple times where I got not really stuck, but like a, a lull moment. You know where nothing was going on. But I'll definitely keep that, put that on YouTube, and I'll probably keep a good, good portion of the uh, sound bit alerts, because it got me a few times. There was a few times it got me where I thought the baby was talking with the avocado. I, I seriously thought the door knocked next to me as I was walking down the stairs. The cat one. I looked around for a second for a cat, because if I wouldn't have seen that upstairs thing, I probably would have been like, cat, where the hell did that come, up, come from? But because magic, or because we found that and magic posted me out, I was like, there's gotta be a cat now. There's gotta be. No, there's no kitty cat. <laughs> and I watch how people play this. So I do some of the funny things. Well, thank you. Because I would not have thought about doing that. And I love seeing little, little things like that that are kind of like hidden secrets. I mean, it was funny. Who would have, I mean, I'm sure obviously a lot of people thought about putting the baby in the toilet. But at first, I never thought about putting the baby in the toilet. Now, maybe Demon Baby I would put in the toilet, but <laughs> not the baby at the beginning, because it was cute. Or, well, no, the baby itself was terrifying, if I'm absolutely honest. He was terrifying, but if I didn't know this game was horror, I would never have thought that that baby turned into a demon at some point. So it was still fun. I highly recommend it if you guys want to check it out. Have fun. I loved it. So um, there's like no exit out of this game, so I have to do it this way. So I'm gonna put this up for just a minute. Oops, I do that every time. Oh, we're gonna switch games. I will uninstall that later. Let me go check out something real quick. All right, um, for my mods, I wrote back in the mods discord, just to let you guys know. And then I'm gonna set up my next game while that's going on. All right, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me with that game. Now we're gonna play something not so terrifying. Not so terrifying, that was super fun. I really enjoyed that. Uh, let me get my next game going. And it'll take me just a minute because I gotta set up some things for it. And then I've also gotta change my stuff, so it'll be one moment. We're gonna see what this game is like. Who knows if we'll like this game or not? Who knows? All right, it's still loading, so I have to wait. 
I need to go to bed soon, but I'm not really, but I'm not really feeling tired, though I have things to do tomorrow morning before I have to go shopping, so I'd like to get up around 9 and not now it's midnight. Well, if you get, I hope you can get some sleep, Denny. I understand. I understand. I know you've been having a little bit of issues sleeping lately, but if you need to lay down and try and sleep, I completely understand. And I hope you really, really, really do get some good sleeps tonight and that you can wake up early and have a good refreshed day and everything because you deserve it. You really do. I'm building in Sims like a log cabin. Ooh, I love log cabins. So I'm kind of enjoying it. Don't want to stop. I know that. <laughs> I know that feeling. Sims, when you're building, if you're having fun doing it, it's really hard to stop what you're doing and, and, you know, because your creativity, for me, it's always like my creati creativity is going and, and everything. It's like, I know if I stop, I'm never going to want to come back to the build or at least anytime soon, probably. So I understand. I hope, I hope, I hope the building is going wonderful. Log cabins are fun. No, Log cabins are no, very fun. No. Dice to infinity. Hello. Thank you so much for the follow and welcome on into Skelly Town. But I do hope you get some good sleeps tonight, Denny. But I understand. Building in The Sims, it's hard to pull yourself away. Here it is. Okay. So just give me a moment. I'm just kind of setting up my next game. My Discord setup is a little complex, so I got to change a whole bunch of stuff to get things to work. Hey. There's that. Oh, are you? Nice. I haven't watched one of her streams in a while. I haven't watched one of her streams in quite a while. I watched her build one and loved it. I agree. I love I love log cabins. I love log cabins. I built a resort long time ago and it was supposed to be kind of like log cabins in the forest like granite falls and stuff um but uh it was a long time ago so it didn't have some of the uh items like i wish i had but uh log cabins are fun they are fun i love i love the aesthetic of those and the ones i did was like a log cabin resort so there was like six buildings and it was big but i think i need to go back and update it to make it look more like log cabins but i think it came out pretty well Thanks, lurking while working sounds great. Thank you so much for the lurk. And again, welcome on in to Skellytown. I appreciate that. I'm just changing everything for my stream. We've just played a game, so I'm just changing everything over. Final has spell. Still don't know how to spell, but it's okay. This music actually goes really well with the game we're gonna go play. Um, did my, did those not stick? Yeah, nonetheless. All right, there we go. Everything is changed. Let me turn this off. We are going to go play or attempt to play VHS or Video Horror Society, whatever you want to call it. It's either or. This is the first time I've got to play it. This earlier this week, it uh, came out on free, no, excuse me, early access. So it's not technically released, but it is early access and anybody can play it. It's no longer in beta. Anybody can play it. It is a free game. You guys can go, you can buy things in the game to support the developers and everything like that. But it is currently a free to play game in early access. So just keep that in mind too. It's technically not a released game, but it is no longer in beta. So anybody can play it now. You do not need an invite or anything. I've never played this. I have no idea how to play this. We're going to do the tutorials and training right now and see how much different it really is from DVD, DVD being a DVD main. I love these kind of style games. There's been few here and there that have come out that have been like hit and misses. 
that I think that I've enjoyed like watching, but some of them I haven't. I really have enjoyed watching a lot of people play this game from the beta. And so I'm really excited to finally play it. I got beta access. And then like a week later, they took it out of beta and put it, uh, and we're getting ready for uh, early access. And so I didn't get to play it in the beta. So this will be the very first time we're getting to play it. I'm making this one. Oh, in the snowy escape world. That would be a really cool place to make it. Cause yeah, when I made mine, Snow Escape wasn't out yet. And so I used like, I don't think I built it in Granite Falls, but I built it like it was gonna be in Granite Falls. I built it probably in like somewhere, I don't know. But um, that's what I did. It, Cause Snow Escape wasn't out yet. But, oh, that makes me want to build one for Snowy Escape now. That'd be awesome. Using a lot of the camping game pack and Snowy Escape and Seasons expansion, yes. Yes, I know when I built the one that I did, it was a lot of whatever that game is called, the camping one, and then a lot of seasons. But I hadn't, it, when I built the original one that I'm talking about, I didn't have Snowy Escape yet, because it was probably back in like 2019, early 2020, maybe I built that. I need to play this again. You should. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. So I'm. this is my first time playing it. Like I've enjoyed a lot watching a lot of people play it. I really have. So I think I'll like it, but who knows? I might get into the game and be like, mm, this isn't for me. I'm not enjoying it. Cause I'm going into this think not thinking that it's gonna be like DVD. I think that what hurts a lot of games is everybody compares it to Dead by Daylight. Yes, it's gonna be a 4v1, but it's not the same thing. So I'm going into this not thinking about that at all. We're just gonna go and have some fun and see if it's even something I wanna continue playing on stream or maybe leave it for off stream, who knows. Let me get some water real quick. Let me switch over. I don't know what scene to use. I think we're gonna use my Dead by Daylight scene. I don't know what's on the screen. If my character right now is gonna be blocking anything. This is kind of my Dead by Daylight setup for Set up for Dead by Daylight because I know where things are on the screen and I know I'm not really blocking anything. So we're going to try this screen and see if it's okay. Um, let's check out the game though first. I've opened it up once to make sure that I didn't have, um, I didn't have, I don't want the audio. Like I don't want the talking going because I'm on stream. I don't know who the hell I'm going to be teamed up with and I don't want uh, something really bad coming across the audio. So I've turned all that off making sure video voice chat mode is muted because um i don't i don't want someone to be in my lobby saying something really really bad i'm gonna try mouse and keyboard too i want to try mouse and keyboard um i usually play dvd with controller but the few times i've watched people play this uh in beta who do play De dead by daylight on keep or controller said mouse and keyboard was actually better in this game I mean, it's fine in Dead by Daylight. I'm just used to playing on controller. That's why I don't switch, but we're going to give it a good old try. And I think I have everything set up. I don't think I have to do anything because I did that earlier. Okay. Um, I didn't save anything. I didn't do anything. So character select. Who do we got? Gloria. Brett. Is there any sound to this game? Or is it just really low? Because I hear nothing. Anyway, we have Jess. I might turn the music back on because I don't hear anything. Leo. Can I open? Can I play with any of these people? And Faith. Oh, she's cute. I already know who I want to play. And then we also have three uh, monsters. I probably won't play monster today. I think I'm going to try and get the... I'm going to turn the music back on. I can't stand. There's no sound. Um... I, I don't know if I'm going to enjoy playing monster in this game, but who knows? I didn't enjoy playing killer very early on in Dead by Daylight, and now I... It's still not my favorite. I still prefer Survivor, but I would much rather... I would much rather play Survivor than killer, but it's not bad. I think I'm going to play as Jess, because look at her. She's a badass. I like that. Um, Assassin? What does that mean? Leader? Champion. I don't know if those even mean anything. Rebel. Healer. Okay, well, I'm still gonna pick her. She's cool. <laughs> I don't know if those mean anything. 
So we're gonna select, select her. Can I like load out? Oh, so I have to buy things or? Oh, hell yeah. Purple hair! Oh, yep. So we can do some things? Oh, I like the moons, okay. God, there's a lot of customization to this. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Oops, that was what I was under. Uh, I kind of like that one. Hands? Oh, bracelets? Well, I have a jacket on. I can't see my bracelets. From what I could tell, that one's probably pretty cool. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, these are purple, though. No, they're probably blue. I like those. Socks! How about no- Oh, no socks. No socks! Oh, that looks weird. Never mind. That looks weird because of the pants I have on. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, hell yeah. Do these look good? Oh, yeah, I like that. Emotes? What? Finger guns. No. Point. Beckett. I have no idea. Oh! Uh, it looks like I have them all. Okay, I don't know. Did you horse society club sticker equipped? Where the hell am I equipping this? Cool. Oh, I think that you can put those on walls. Well, I've equipped it that. I think. Oh yeah, demon baby. Okay, cool. Um, so that's that. <laughs> I will admit I'm, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be completely lost, and that's why we're gonna go do the trading because I don't want to hop into a game and be like, kick it. Hi, I kick it. Don't know what I'm kick doing. it. Thank you, Brad, for getting Blossom a shout out. Wait a Oh my God. Ah! Oh. Custom? My God, the customization. Oh, I can't do anything. And this game is crazy. So oh, Jesus Christ. Like My heart hurts. <laughs> anything higher. <laughs> Perks. I lived for both of you. Oh, I have nothing unlocked, which is understandable. Okay. Unlock in Jess's Journey Act 1. Alright, cool. Journey? Silent Shadow 1. When crafting... When a crafting skill check is failed, there is a 50% chance the blunder will be prevented and the monster will not be alerted. So I have to do that? Is that what it's saying? <laughs> There's a lot to this game. I didn't realize this. I love it though. So far, I love it. I thank you. Oh, that was the same clip. I thought there was another shout out going. I'm okay, tired. I'm sorry, you're tired. How are you? Doing good! I'm doing really good. We played a creepy game earlier that was absolutely amazing. And now we're hopping into a brand new game that I've never played that's got the same kind of idea as Dead by Daylight, but definitely way different. So I'm so excited. So excited. Wish I could stay longer. I wish you could do, but it's okay. Life comes first. Always remember that. Always remember that. Movies. Play as Jess, complete a match. So these are kind of like, uh, like, what do you call them? Dead by Daylight, tome item things kind of. Okay, so we'll do that. Uh, like I said, I'm just gonna kind of play and have fun. I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't know what any of this stuff is. No prize equipped, no rentals, no nothing. Is there sound? Master volume 100, music volume 100. There's no music volume! Oops. Audio output. I mean, that's my headphones. 
But I hear nothing. Well, I guess we'll go into the game and see if something pops up, but I hear nothing. Where did I put that? No, I still hear nothing. So voice chat I have turned off. Mute game if unfocused, which I focused. Well, I guess I'll just go into the game and see. Like, there's no sound at the moment. And I don't know. Can I open these? No? I don't know what zero means. Sip sip! Hello, Shy! How's it going? Thank you so much for the sip sip. I can do. Can do. Mmm, I appreciate that. How's it going, Shy? Okay, well, I'm gonna pop in the game and I hope the sound comes in. Because I don't know. Hello, um, tutorials hello, and training. Hello. I still don't hear anything, but I'll go with it and see what happens. I don't know, can you- No, there's nothing playing in that either. We're gonna say it. You on the count of go. Three, two, one. Nice. Nigeria. Nigeria. Give me a warning before you Thank you so much for the oh, hello. Welcome on into Skelly Town. I appreciate I that. Yeah. Right. Oh, guys, there's another right. one. All right, Fernandez, just let me know, okay? okay. See ya. Bye bye. Oh. That's two tutorials for teens, and that's what we're gonna do. I guess I'm gonna click one and go in. Like I said, I hear nothing, so I don't know if the game's just quiet or what. So I'm gonna go. No, there's no sound. Where is the sound? Rule number one, move carefully. Use Waz to move. Hold shift to run. Left control to crouch. The faster you move it, the more noise you make. Okay. Oh, there's the sound. Okay, there's the sound. Never mind. So, whoa, is there like a sensitivity thing I can do? Cause that's, that's rough. Teen mouse sensitivity of 36, I guess. That's a little better. Okay. And then crouch. Oh, that's creepy. Okay, walls to move. Got it. I'm stuck on a door. If you need to escape, press or hold space to vault through nearby openings. Hold left shift to fast vault. My god, I'm so used to playing with a controller with Dead by Daylight that I'm going to try and attempt this game with a keyboard that I'm going to forget all of these things. So this might be rough at first. Looks like days after... Excuse me, looks like after days of traveling the Catalina Wasteland, I stumbled across a place called Skelly Town. <laughs> I like that. Yes, you did. You did. We are Skelly Town. We are a community that is just, you know what, here to have fun, enjoy each other's company, and then apparently play scary games or um, games like this that are not Dead by Daylight, but Dead by Daylight style. And this is, I'm going through a tutorial at the moment because I don't know anything about this game other than I know you have to craft things. I know you have to go after the monsters and stuff, but I have no idea. And I've, let me know about the volume and stuff. I have it still set from the last game. So everything's at 100% at the moment in in-game. I hear stuff now, but it's very soft. So we'll see. Uh, if you need to escape, press or hold space to vault through a nearby opening. Hold left shift to fast vault or left control for a quicker, quieter slow vault. Okay. Okay, so that's that. Ah, no, no, no! I was trying to vault again! Was that too loud for you guys? 
I turned I turned my earphones kind of down, but director's note rule number two help your friends If the monster knocks down a teen they cannot get up by themselves to revive them hold down E then hold slash release What? Hold slash release left mouse button to stay inside the target zone. Oh god, okay. Don't worry faith. I'm coming Where am I? Oh here you are there you are There's a chair in my way. Hold E. Oh, hold E! Oh god, oh. Oh god, I'm bad at this. Nope, I got it. Woo! That was harder than I thought it was gonna be! <laughs> the town mayor seems to be playing some sort of game. Yes. Town mayor. Town founder, whatever you want to call me. It's playing. Some sort of fun game. Something attacked that girl. I don't know actually what the name of that character is in this game. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I don't know what that character actually was. Uh, once revive, teen needs to be healed. To heal a teen, hold E, then hold- so do the exact same thing. Then hold and release left mouse button to stay inside the target zone. Okay, so same thing. Holding E! Aye, this is a weird mechanic. I like it dead by daylight, just holding down. Or actually, you literally just push a button now. My faith! I healed you, you're welcome. Beware, the monster is now enraged. In this mode, even healthy teens can be knocked to the ground with just one hit instead of two. Trying to think, I'm like trying to compare it to Dead by Daylight. So that would be like Huntress with iridescent head, in other words. Listen for the terror attack when the monster is near, it will get faster and louder. Ah! <laughs> wow! That is loud. Hold up, let me turn down the volume for you guys. That is loud. Not gonna decrease it by much. We're gonna go about right there. Uh, didn't expect that to happen that fast. I thought it was gonna get at least away. Rule number three, stay strong. When knocked down, you can speed up your recovery by correct collecting Luma from the spectral realm. I'll press E to change your spectral. Oh, hell yeah, I get to be the baby. So... Oh, okay, so I collect these little glowy things. Press E again to release the spectral and go back to your body. When injured, you have a trail that the monster can track, okay? When friends can't heal you, find a healing station nearby. I can't get up, though. Oh, someone's coming to heal me. Sorry. I got it. I still can't move. There we go. Can I run to it? No. Okay, press E to healing station. Hold E for healing station. I hate this. <laughs> I hate this healing whole button thing, Majigger. If I'm gonna give this game any criticism so far, this has gotta go. It's kind of rough on my hands. If I'm being honest. I feel like it's, um, I feel like it's Stardew Valley's fishing mechanism and I hate it. When too much fallout goes up to your brand and you roleplay outside the game. <laughs> understandable though, understandable, I understand. It's all good, it's all good. For a quick life boost. Life boost. Feed, <laughs> feed your soul. Candy bars are stashed around the map and in vending machines. Search for one nearby. Oh, pff, it's behind me. Freaking hold things. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I see it. I see what it's trying to get me to do. I, I went the absolute wrong way, but that's okay. Can I go 
Oh, I can't go either way. Yay! I got a candy bar! Press E to pick up. Okay. Press F to eat candy bar. Yum yum! Snickers! Maybe I should give it to the monster. I should give it to the monster. He needs a Snickers. He's a little angry at the moment. Uh, fight the monster. It it takes a hit from each stigma type to kill the monster. Locate a stigma crafting station and hold down E to craft your weapon. Okay. Hold down E. Oh, it's back here. I probably could run. Oh, it's just over there eating that poor girl. They need to get some of the mechanics of Dead by Daylight down, though. Like, the whole... I don't want to hold this down the whole time. I, I like in Dead by Daylight how they changed it recently to, like, push a button, and then it does it for you, and you don't have to um, hold it down. Oops, what? Oh, frick. <laughs> I am not good at those. I ain't good at those skill checks. Holy crap. Well, that one was better. DVD Kids now playable. God, this is as long as the new generators. Alright. Confront the monster and fire your cross by holding left mouse button and keep the monster in the beam of light until it recoils. Gotcha. How far away can I be? I can be far away, okay. Fight the monster! It takes it. Wait, wait! I did that! Oh no! Wait, do I have to be closer? Oh, game! Apparently, I have to be closer. I thought I was doing it. I was looking at the wrong thing, apparently. That's okay, we'll craft another one. That's what the tutorials are for. <laughs> Poor Faith back there. She's just being eaten by this monster. And there's me over here like, I'm coming. Don't worry. I'll be there soon. Good night, people of Skeletown. Good night. What's a username? Thank you so much for the follow and coming on in. We appreciate that. And I hope you have enjoyed Oops, your stay with us. Okay. Confront the monster. Well, I did that, but apparently I got to be pretty close. So, like, right here? No. No. Okay, so wait. Ah, I see. Okay, so you can't be too close. Okay, got it. Tutorial number one done. I don't know why there's no sound on the screen. I think we're going to do the Dead by Daylight thing. We'll put on music during these screens, and then when we get into game, we'll turn them off. Um, okay, so can't be too close to him. Because it said uh, it was up there so fast because I backed up, but got to be at least a good distance, though, because the first time it was way too far away. So if you're too close, that's not a good thing. Okay. There was another tutorial. There was this one. Oh, this is training. Oh, do we get to play a match with mon like with bots? Did my music not come on? There it is. Sorry. I thought I heard it. Um... Because Dead by Daylight needs this. I think it is. Let's go. I don't want to play as Faith. So, so what am I doing? Running around trying to find things. I think I'm playing with bots right now, though. Oh. Oh. I saw the monster. Oh, God. I don't know how bot monsters work. Is he gonna come over here or is he just oh maybe he's just running back and forth never mind i think he's just running back and forth i feel this i feel that how hard this is with the new gen system faith is 
actually really cute, if I'm being honest. Actually, I liked all the characters so far. I don't know if this game is ever gonna like do like Dead by Daylight and come out with new characters here and there. All right. Ooh, I did it! I did it! What is this? Choose weapon? No, I'll come back to that. Okay, so literally it's just me running around and uh, this dude just standing here and doing nothing. Is that all I can do or do I have to go find like another station? Pick up candy bar. Oh, I went in a circle. Maybe there's nothing else to do. Maybe that was the only thing. So this isn't what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like a training system. Like it was gonna be a game I would get into right away and there'd be all bots playing and I would get to Ah, and then I'd get to do that. He's literally just run back and forth. Yeah, I got him! Okay. Now what? Oh, wait. R? Ow! Well, I was doing something! Leave me alone. Oh, now he's chasing me. Oh, whoopsie! Tab for score? Tab doesn't work. Oh, do I have to craft? No, I already did this. Do I have to craft another one? Do I go over to this dude and be like, hey! Heal me. Oh no, I can do this now. Yeah, I hate this. One, it's long. And two, it feels like Stardew fishing. But so far fun. Now I'm just in the training. I'm gonna get into the game and I'm gonna be playing against people who probably played on the beta and everything and they'll be like, oh, this newbie. Do I do this again? Oh, wait, it says, oh, wait, E? Oh, there's different things, okay. Wait, do I do this again? Frick you, get away from me. Whoops. <laughs> I ain't doing too well. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Hey, you! Oh, never mind. Um, can I eat a candy bar? Wait a minute. E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Hello, Maria! How are you doing today? What is this that I dropped? Oh, it's my soda. E, it's mine. Ah, uh, ah, get away. Can I, like, drink multiple things? Oh. Interesting, interesting. There's a lot of items. What's this do? Oh, eat or heal yourself. Oh, this is cool. I've got me a med kit. Or a very awesome sword. Or sword staff. I hate this. I hate this. This needs to be fixed and or stopped. Alright, did that. Fire. I can fire this at him. This won't fire at him. Okay, change weapon? What now? Got me a sword, hell yeah. Oh. Oh. Let's go! This is so easy. I thought this was gonna be like a literally uh, like a simulation game. It's just letting me pick things. What? There's a freaking eyeball. Interesting. Interesting. I'm all right. How are you? So far, so good. I'm having a really good day. Glad you're doing all right. How's VHS? So far, I've only done the tutorial and now this training. 
and I, I liked I like it so far. Um, I wish this tutorial or this training was more like a simulated game. I thought that's what it was gonna be. Uh, I thought it was gonna be like a what what Dead by Daylight needs as well is like a real game going on with a bunch of bots to get you um, kind of introduced a little bit better. But it's literally a monster running back and forth, and I'm sitting here choosing weapons that I have no idea what any of them do. Uh, this one? Oh no, this is fire. It says down there in the corner. So how do I know which one of these, what these do? Oh, so I need this. I mean, this is obviously gonna be a lot harder when I'm playing against real people, but. I did it, I, wait. Oh! Ah! So, wait, is that all there is to do? If that's all there is to do, I'm exiting out and leaving. I'm gonna go play a game. Because I thought that... Oh, I probably could have simulated the heals there. Maybe I should go back in and do something really quick. This is for... It, is it kind of like for, Fortnite meets, meets, meets Dead by Daylight? Because in... I don't know much about Fortnite, but... The tutorial is easier than the actual game. Oh yeah, I'm totally expecting it. I'm just sad that the tutorial wasn't like an actual simulated game. I thought that's what it was, because I'm like, great, perfect. Actually, I'm gonna go back into the tutorial in just a sec. Um, thinking like, t Dead by Daylight says they're gonna be coming out with something similar to that, like a practice mode, I guess. And that's, this is nice. This tutorial is really nice, or this training, but I wish it was more like the monster is actually chasing you around the map and you have to go do everything like a real match. Actually, I'm just gonna go back in here real quick. I remember not liking the skill checks at all. I hate the skill checks. I hate them. I want him to come over here and attack her. I wanted to get some practice like with healing, but. Well, maybe it's not going to do that. Well, I'll try these and just see if the werewolf or whatever that was. I'm just curious because it doesn't let me practice with like uh, healing people. That's fire. I don't know how to tell before I pick it up. Okay, I see, I see. I just wanna see if it does something else after the next monster comes in. So like, he's dead now, so the next monster's gonna appear. Kind of curious if I go over here and it attacks this player? Oh uh, no, is that just a, oh, like it's not letting it, like hi, how's it going? Could you attack her over there so I can practice? No, it just goes back and forth. Okay, never mind, never mind. All right, so I guess we're just gonna hop into a game, I guess. Um, I wish I had more practice like in the way of, uh, a simulated game because now we're going to pop into a game with real people who probably know what they're doing and poor little old me i'm going to be like me in dead by daylight when you get those newbies in game like what the hell is claudia doing could you just heal me and i'm going to be like i don't know can i heal you i don't know what to do <laughs> but it's okay it's okay these people people who are playing this game probably play dead by daylight we all know what it's like oh i could have sent her to injured ah, i don't want to play any more training it's okay it's okay. We'll just hop into game. Like, Dead by Daylight didn't have any practice, and I'm fine now. So we'll just pop into a game and see what it's like. Because most of the people who have played this, or who are playing this game, there's a really good chance they have at least played Dead by Daylight in the past, or are Dead by Daylight players. 
So they're gonna understand there's gonna be newbies popping into this game all the time because one this game is free Two, this game just came out what last like on Monday, I think Or no, maybe it was not remember but it just came out So there's gonna be a lot of new new people in the game now and also as like Mario was saying not like the skill checks at all I hate them. I hate them. I hate having to hold down a button for something to happen I'm really I loved how Dead by Daylight changed shit to be a uh, push then you can take your hand off the controller or keyboard and then do something to deactivate it and stuff. I like that because for me, my hands can kind of cramp up and hurt at times. So having to hold down, it's not a big deal, but I really am spoiled with Dead by Daylight push and stuff. And then the skill checks uh, are absolutely annoying because they feel like Stardew fishing. I don't mind Stardew fishing, honestly. It's kind of relaxing, but it has the same kind of feel to it. So, yeah. But we're just gonna hop in the game. I have nothing to my name. Very first game, this is the character I'm gonna play as Jess, because she seems pretty cool. I don't know if playing one or another character, you get different stuff or whatever. We're just gonna play as her first, because she looks cool. And I'm gonna play on US West. I wish I wouldn't show you what server you're playing on. Like, why does that even matter? I'm gonna play on US West, because that's who I am. And let's see what kind of lobbies these are. Being that the game is um, not dead by daylight and doesn't have thousands and thousands and thousands of people playing, these could be long. And these could be kind of long lobbies. I know in the beta, teens were very long lobbies and monsters weren't because kind of like dead by daylight, people weren't playing monsters as often as they were as teens. I can't do starting fishing, I need a mod. I. I can do it, but I need to do... I, I probably need a mod now, because... Well, I haven't played it in forever, but... I could definitely use a mod now. I, I don't mind it if I'm just kind of, like, chilling. You know, not really caring about what's going on. Like, I'm just playing to play, because I don't know what else to do. But if I'm on, like, a mission or something, I hate that thing. And I've never modded my Stardew yet because I was I was trying to play like a decent amount of like a playthrough without it and not become like a Sims player that I am who has like 50 mods downloaded into her game <laughs> and now cannot play at all without mods. But I'm starting to get to the point where I'm probably going to start putting mods into Stardew and enjoy it. But I haven't actually played Stardew in quite a while. No, starting fishing is use. Yeah, I understand. I don't mind it, but it depends on my mood. Really, it does. I'm big dumb and suck at it. I suck at it too. I do. I like I said, it's just like, it's a mood thing. If I'm not really caring, I'm just like, whatever. I'll do it. I'll, I'll fish the way the game is meant to fish, but I probably put them on it now. I've experienced, experienced enough Stardew fishing that I'm ready for a mod. A toasted cheddar chalupa. Relax my horns. Me. Sleepy fire. I know how. I, I know. Do I have to push anything? Ready? Ready. Okay. So it's like dead by. I know that like one of these is the killer. Look! There's three of me. But I know one of these is supposedly the killer. I like that. I like Dead by Daylight needs this. Dead by De Daylight needs it to be beware. We're all in the lobby together and one of them is disguised. But we don't know who the killer is. I think that's kind of cool. But let's see how our first match goes. Do they have MMR like DVD and all these people haven't played before? Cause I hope so. <laughs> I just have Maria give me her mod folder. <laughs> that works. That totally works. I know. Room key. Vote to go to the hotel map. I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, what was I saying? <laughs> I was going to say something to that and I forgot. Oh, well. Something popped up on my game and I was confuzzled. Be kind, rewind. The video of horror society has a blah, blah, blah. Oh, no. 
Okay. Here we go. What do I do? I gotta find crap, okay. Okay, so does that mean that's where those things are and people are working on them? Go get me a ray gun. And I know there's only... Okay, so someone's being currently attacked. I don't know these maps. I don't know where that is. I'm going to be an absolute... Useless teammate. I missed the skill check. Okay, she's down over there. I don't know... I don't know if I should go for it. I don't know if this is the right Should I go pick her up? Is this the killer camping her? I'm finishing my ray gun. I'm gonna just, just uh, hopefully no one gets mad at me. I feel like I need a gun to go see them. Okay, I have a weapon. How do I get to you? Dude, how, oh, ooh. hold to heal. Okay, I got you. This is my first heal. Should I release? I don't know, is that a thing? I don't know, is that a thing? What do I do? I don't know I do! I'm sorry, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know, I'm a little, oh, okay. I'm being uh, revived. I feel like an absolute trash teammate. I tried to pick her up, and I didn't know what to do. Can I pick up someone with someone? Can I? Can I? Can we both do this? Oh. See, my biggest problem is um. Also, I don't realize I have to hold things. I appreciate the heels. I guess is what I'm getting. All right, I'm running over here. I, 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 do I not have a weapon anymore or? <laughs> this is absolutely atrocious. <sighs> do I heals too? I don't know, is this a good thing to heal you too? If you have a weapon and they hit you, is your weapon gone? No, I still... No, I don't have it. Okay, so I have to craft another one? Hey! Oh, there's someone down. There's two people down. I missed my skill check. You, you go! Ah! Yeah, you get him! You get him! You get him! I'm gonna go revive people! I'm just like Dead by Daylight! I am an altruistic person! too long though the heels it takes a little bit of time but it's like dead by daylight it takes time you're not gonna instantly heal okay there you go okay i haven't done nothing in the way of weapons Frick, I have to hold that. I mean, this is fun, but it is just like, like a little confuzzling. Like, what, what should I prioritize? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Should I prioritize going and getting these people up? 
in healing them, or should I like be making a weapon that I apparently I dropped? Frick, someone's already dead, too. showing I've done nothing someone's already DC'd which I don't know I don't know anything about DC in this game versus Dead by Daylight I'm currently I'm gonna be little cute CB here I'm stuck on a wall I mean, so far, I do like this. This is really fun. It's just hard to decide how to prioritize anything. I'm a little bye-bye. What is it? Oh! I am dead. <laughs> Make sure you watch which time a damage needs to be done. Yeah, I probably will have to be watching that. <laughs> Game's over, though. <laughs> I don't think we did anything to that monster. I don't think we did one thing to that monster. Which, what am I? Hey, I had the most points! Well, not besides the monster. There's no in-game chat, no GGs. Monster one. <laughs> Yay! I got the most points! Um, don't know if that's a good thing, but I did it. So what is all this stuff? Oh, these are my details. Co-op, 369. Grit, 919. Perk loadout. I had this sword. I Okay, cool. Then that, nothing means anything to me right now. It's fine. It, it, like I said, it, it is just hard to decide how to. Should I like in Dead by Daylight? Should I be going to pick these people up? Should I finish my weapon? I hear the monster coming. Should I stop? You know, I probably should stop uh, healing, and because he'll just come up behind us like any killer and or monster and get us. But oh, oh, that's right. Spend time healing other teens. I got a rental. Don't know what that means, but I got a rental. Complete a match. Hey. Oh, well, five times. Never mind. Um, I'm not really going to concentrate on this stuff. I'm just going to kind of... I'm just going to kind of have fun and play because I don't... I, I don't know. I don't know what all this is, but... There's a lot of crap to this game and it's freaking awesome. Scene! Oh, wait. No, that's not how to do it? So I got it. The town of thief steals an ancient artifact only to discover she has brought a terrible evil into the world, forcing herself into the process. Left for dead, she plots to return the curse to its rightful resting place in the heart of evil. So I have to get all three of those? So I'm assuming this is kind of like shards, and this is cells? GG's the war, GG's! <laughs> that was my very first game ever, so I didn't know what I was really doing. <laughs> but GG's, it was fun, I enjoyed it. I really did. I just, that was the very first time I've ever played a game. And I'm a DVD main, so I was trying to decide throughout the whole match. I was trying to decide, like, what should I prioritize? What should I do? Should I should I be doing this? Should I be healing people? Should I be doing this? But I, I had a blast. I just really didn't do anything but pick people up. Which is fine. I'm an altruistic person in Dead by Daylight, so... I was fine with that. I just didn't get to use the weapons at all because I wasn't sure uh, how at first, but I had a blast. And GG's to you too. 
I'm just like looking at my stuff now. Like, what? What can I do? So, this is like nothing at the moment? Your first game? I also played a lot of Duty, but played the VHS beta. And you'll learn the more you play. Yes. I didn't get to play the beta. I had access to the beta right at the end. I got access like a week or two before they closed it for um, early access. And I had every intention of playing, but I never got around to it because I was doing other things. So, um, I was sad I didn't get to play the beta, but... Yeah, that was my very, 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 very first game. I have never played. I played like the tutorial and the training for a few seconds, and I'm like, yeah, it's fine. Let's get into the game. Let's play. And it was fun. It was really fun. Do you play? Do you still play lots of DVD? Or are you just uh, you used to play it? Because DVD is my main on the channel. I played. I play DVD on Mondays and Wednesdays on stream, and this is like my variety stream day. So I'll probably, if I really enjoy this game a lot, I'll probably stick this on on Fridays when I don't have a variety game that I either want to play or can play. Or I shouldn't say can. But uh, yeah, I made DVD, so I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to treat this game like that because it's definitely different. It's not the same game. There's not really a comparison other than it's a 4v1, so. You played 250 hours in the beta, nice! So did you get the beta early on? I used to play DVD, I made a- Oh, Deathslinger and Cloud! Nice! I'm the worst at Deathslinger. I just don't do well as him. I love playing Clown, though. He's fun. I really do love playing Clown. I play- Yeah, I play DVD a lot, so it'll still main it on my channel. This will be like a- Either a secondary game on Variety Friday, or a game I'll play off stream. Probably? Maybe? Who knows? But, um, I'm a Survivor main on DVD, but I play- how if I survive a match, I will play the killer I survived against. So I'll play like every killer. I mean, I'm not good at every killer, but I'll play them all. I'm just gonna load into the next game. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna have fun. I love stabbing people with a gun. It's funny. Oh, it's so much fun to play Deathslinger, I'll admit. I'm just not good in game. <laughs> we understand, we understand. <laughs> but yeah, I, I like playing Deathslinger. He is really fun, but I'm not very good with the aims, so like Deathslinger, Huntress, uh, Clown sorta, because you have to throw the bottles. I can be really iffy on him, but I'll admit, Deathslinger is a lot of fun to play when I do get to play him. It's like DVD and Fortnite I've had a baby. I, I don't play Fortnite, but I've seen quite a people, quite a people, quite a few people play it. And I like that we get to like attack the monster. It's not, it's obviously different from Dead by Daylight. We're not fixing a gen to escape. We're trying to defeat the monster. And I like that. A part of me in Dead by Daylight wants something to like attack the killer at times, but I don't think it's necessary because that's not like the point of the game. I mean, you can kind of, a no, you can't attack him at all. But that's why I like how these games are different. I like how Dead by Daylight's killer is attacking you, trying to prevent you from escaping, where we're trying to just prevent the killer from winning. I like it. I miss it when he used quick scope, though. What is that? I'm like a newer Dead by Daylight player. I've only been playing Dead by Daylight for about a year. But I play, I have over 600 hours in the game, so. I have some experience. Did I knock that thing off my desk? I did. But I'm still, I still consider myself like a newbie to Dead by Daylight. Sorry, my YouTuber's freaking out. I knocked something off my desk. Yeah, I don't really bane anybody in DBD. If I had to pick, it would be right now Freddy or Dredge. They're the two I have the most fun playing. But I consider myself a survivor main. I stick to survivor more. Because I find it's more fun. And like this game, I probably won't try a uh, monster today at least. Because I want to get like the basic of the game down from like the teen's point of view and then probably switch over to maybe monster at a later time and then see if it's kind of like Dead by Daylight. If playing monster helps you learn survivor. Because I, I tell everyone, if you play Dead by Daylight, play mon or play killer like a few times even if you don't do anything you know 
if you don't get anybody or anything, it's kind of nice to learn how to play Survivor from the killer's perspective. Oh, definitely are used to not wait to zoom slash scope in to shoot. Oh, okay. See, I didn't, I didn't know that. I don't play a lot of Death Slayer, but I am newer to the game too, so. I only started playing Killer earlier this year, I think is when I started. I can't remember. I started playing Dead by Daylight mainly at the end of last year, but I think I decided to try Killer. Oh, it was after the artist came out or soon after she came out. Cause I ended up buying that chapter and trying out that Killer and loved her. So I was like, I'm gonna try Killer some more. And um, loved it. So. Got it again and good luck in your next ones. Thank you so much. Good luck in your next ones as well. Thank you for popping in. I appreciate that. I had fun. I had fun in my first one. Once I get a little bit more used to what I'm doing, I know I'll have even more fun. But I I mean, there's, I had no complaints about the first game. But good luck and have fun in your future games. This music fits perfect for this game. I actually had to pause it. I was like, did I actually turn the music on? Because the when I'm in my settings, it says my music volume for is 100, but I hear nothing on the main menu. So I don't know if it's like an issue or there really is nothing there. We might have to put words up here in a minute. If, uh, Cause I know these lobbies, the first lobby actually didn't take too long, which was nice, but this lobby's taking a little bit of time. Mm, I was gonna, I was gonna write something and I lost my train of thought. <laughs> oh well, I lost my train of thought. Character is all messed up. Just a minute. My VTuber is all messed up. There we go. Did I accidentally push that? But yeah, again, if anybody ever wants to check this game out, it's free, and it's currently out for everybody. So if you like Dead by Daylight, want a change of pace, if you're not enjoying Dead by Daylight right now after all the updates, this is a good substitute. Like, I'm not mad at the update, but I know a lot of people are like, I'm done with Dead by Daylight until they fix something. This is a really good, um, really good substitute, I think. Different, and I like it. We were only playing one game today. Can I do something like while I'm waiting? Well, kind of, I can't do anything there. All right, I'll give it a few more minutes and then I'm gonna go grab words. It'll take me a minute, but it, oh, I can go grab it.
All right, let's do this. I do that freaking every time. Go away. Every time I open words, I always press that button thinking it's the go button. And it's not. It's a YouTube video. All right, there it is. Let me see if I know how to. How do I do this? Can I go here? We're gonna hop over here. And we're gonna play some words because it's been eight minutes searching for our lobby. So these could take a while. I just gotta get it all set up. So just hang on, hang tight one minute. Probably by the time I get this all set up. My game's gonna be, my game is ready. Okay, well, we'll set this up after. Well, I'll get it finished now. And then we'll come back. Okay, well, now we're already in game, so. Hey, we're playing against the TTV, let's go. Like, you know how when you, in Dead by Daylight, you kind of judge and you think, oh, this person's got this kind of skin. They're probably not new. I don't know there's a way to tell that this game. All right, here we go. Promise. Promise I'll be as bad as the first time. But next time, next time we are in a lobby or not a lobby, but we're waiting. I will, uh, I will put on words. Oh my goodness, Maddie, what are you doing back there? Also, what I think is not helping me is that I'm used to controller with Dead by Daylight, so I'm not, I mean, if I knew the controls, if I knew the controls for that, I might be a little bit better at first with this. Hard. Not fan of. I'm not a fan of like the mechanics for all this. Anyway. And I don't think the killer really has like a terror radius. I think literally, you just have to listen for his footy steps. So somebody's down right there. Frick, I'm stuck on a door just like every other game. I don't know why I feel like I have to be quiet. But I did, I didn't get to finish my, so now when I go back to that, is like my progress saved? Or do I have to go back and wait the whole thing again? Why is there a lamb? Check, let's go. Ooh, this is like this. I don't like holding this now. This is hard on my hands. Well, I escaped the monster. I mean, I guess that's a fudge. I guess that's a plus.
What does that mean over there? Oh. Wait, is that it? Oh, sorry, that's a survivor. My bad. I was trying to attack a survivor. <laughs> player it was now I was just attacking them because I didn't realize uh, that was not the monster that was actually a player I'm sorry whoever that was okay well I guess I could use this and be a little baby for a bit a little bubble for a bit that was really nice of that last monster to come in and say that that was awesome like they had a lot of hours. Me, I've got like an hour in this game. That was my first match. And that was really sweet of them to come in and say all that stuff. I appreciated that. Cause it- Hi. Anytime you play a new game, it's really confuzzling. And as, as Dead by Daylight, I know what to do. And everything, I've played a lot of hours. This one is like, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how to do it. I'll get used to it, but. Thank you. Oh, frick. I'm stuck on a desk. I, no, leave me alone! Leave me alone! I don't have anything. I don't have anything to do. Go after somebody else. Should I be running? Is he still behind me? I can vault. I forgot. What well, was vault? Ow. Great! My team's doing great! They've got two of the four done. I've done nothing again. We should play a full lobby sometime. It would probably be not a bad idea. This game isn't... I feel like this game isn't as hard as Dead by Daylight, but it definitely needs communication. Well, Dead by Daylight does too, but I do pretty fine at solo queue, so I'm always good, but... This one, I feel like you would need a little... No. A little bit of more communication. It's like, I'm working on this thing! I know you can use voice in this game, but... I don't want somebody I don't know speaking and saying something they should not be saying on my chat. I'm a little baby, just moving around. I'm stuck in a file cabinet, that's okay. I don't even know why I'm getting these, but I'm gonna do it. <sighs> Thank you. You guys are awesome. I, I, you know, I'm not. I've done nothing. It's gonna be like the new Dead Heart when I finally get my first like attack on the killer. It's gonna be like a hurrah moment. Oh, someone's killing it right now. Holy crap, they've done three of the four and I've done nothing. I've healed though. That's me, I'm the healer of the team. Y'all do the attacking, I'll do the healing. All right, I have nothing. What do we need? Fire. I like these maps too. What? 
Should I drink those now? Oh, that's a speed boost. Whoops. Fire! I see it. Flamethrower, in other words. Oh, I just realized the TTV -er is the killer. Excuse me, monster. So they probably been playing a while. They probably have some. Okay, well, he's got a flamethrower, but there's nothing else to do. So I'll just craft this, and then if he goes down, they've got something. So I'm kind of assuming that when I get attacked, I lose my item, because. I notice like I don't don't seem to have it in my hand anymore. Yes. Capture the rift to reveal the monster. <laughs> Did someone do it? Oh no. here and I was trying. I can't do it anymore. So when he does the bark thing. Oh, damn, damn it. So when he does that bark thing, he can't. He can't. I can't do that because I was so I was going to do it. I was spraying him with fire. But I was one too close and then the second time I think maybe like when the werewolf does that owl, I can't do anything because I am like kind of like under a like, train or something. Oh, my team ruled. I sucked. My team was awesome. I was not. I tried there though. I, w I had it down. I just was too close. And then I, you know, different killers have different probably ways of playing. Like, er, I mean like different powers. Hey, I had the least amount of points. <laughs> uh, I had the least amount of points I was dead. It's okay though, I had fun, it was still fun. Yeah, the killer was the TTV, Lyco Soul 4, or like, yeah, Lyco Soul 4. I'm assuming that's her name, but GG's to them. Oh, really? It was like, it was called Lyco's Soul, L Y K O S S O L 4 was the other TTV or name, and they were the killer. And they did awesome! I just, like I said, I, I'm assuming kind of like with every killer, there's three, or excuse me, monsters. Three monsters in this game. There's the werewolf, the doll maker, and what was the other one? Wart? Or are those the same ones? But anyway, there's, there's three monsters, and I'm kind of assuming they all have special. Styles, kind of like Ever Killer, you know, like the Doctor and DVD, he does flat, static blasts and all that. So when he's doing that howl, and I'm being kind of like, not consumed, but like I've got something wrong with me for a moment, I can't do anything against him. It felt like. That's what it felt like. Now, I don't know if I was right. Oh, I can. Oh, I don't have these unlocked. How do I unlock these? Count created, 719. Yeah, that's probably when I logged in to check it out. Oh, cool! There's stats! Most played teen. Total time played, 17 minutes. Wait, total time played? Is that like in matches? Teen game survives monster. Oh, that's kind of cool. Trophies. Oh, these are cool. Okay, nonetheless. If I'm getting anything, I'm just gonna keep playing. I don't know if I'm getting anything in the way of like collectibles or whatever, but I'm just gonna keep playing. Have fun. And we'll probably give uh, each survivor, or excuse me, teen a try. I do really like her so far, but I feel like each teen does have some kind of maybe specialty to him. Because in the main menus, you can select, um, there's like special things for each one. So 
Foxy. I like that though. You said we'll still get experience and stuff with a full lobby, including the killer as a friend, I believe. So like, like custom, everything custom, you still get experience. Unlike Dead by Daylight, you get nothing when you play a custom match. Full lobbies, you still get something, but not custom match, which I think is, I understand, but at the same time, it's like, should get a little bit of something. But at the same time, I kind of get it. All right, let's go over here. Let's play some words. Let's see if this takes, I don't know if it's going to take long again. First one was quick, second one wasn't. Oh, I have the volume set. Alf. Uh, alf. Off. Oh, I completely turned it off. I forgot. I was trying to consolidate this morning. All right, there we go. There is words for anyone who wants to play while we are loading into lobbies. take the Q screen off. The Q image, I can see it. One of these days I won't be locked. Oh, I got into a lobby. So there, it kind of depends. Oh, I lost someone. Well, already up nonetheless. What if this is like Dead by Daylight? When they see a TTV or they're like, bye. Bye. Okay, we're gonna go back over to the screen. Notice though, I didn't notice if um what was I doing? Oh, I'm gonna go close this out. Uh I'll leave that up. Conan who? I don't know, Conan what? Oh, I didn't like these all oh, these two people who are playing with all three of them, one if they're a, a swift, have the pride um cosmetics you can buy in game so they're dedicated players they're dedicated players they're gonna play they, they're gonna play well they're either supporting the game or they're gonna play a lot because they've bought things for the game already I haven't bought nothing for this game because I don't know how often I'm really gonna play it it's not gonna be I don't it's not gonna be like DVD it's not gonna become my main for sure Our DVD still has that number one place in my heart unless something absolutely horrible happens to it we'll switch to this game from there but It'll have that number one place in my heart still. I wonder if this is gonna like bug out when there's someone leaves a lobby. I know in the beta I saw people saying when someone left a lobby, it kind of bugs out. I do like the Pride cosmetics though, they're cute. Maybe I should bring words back. We lost somebody, so. I'll give it a minute. Oh, no, three of four ready. Oh, someone unready, I see.
I was too busy reading through Discord. And then it also makes me wonder, oh, we got someone, let's go. Kind of makes me wonder, oh, they're out of the pride outfits. And they don't have to be a Swift. I guess they could be experienced, er, not experienced players, but people who at least want to put money into the game already. though this game can get a good following behind it I know it already does I know it has a really good following behind it already but I hope that it can get more so that hopefully lobby times can come down like waiting for a match can take a while because I know there's not a lot of people playing this at the moment but um, it's also only an early access so they, they might come up with things that make you know maybe lobby times a little bit faster and such but Definitely, it's a long wait. <laughs> but I am kind of DVD spoiled. I will totally admit it. And I am not trying to compare this to it, but there are times where it's like, if I was on DVD right now, I probably would already be in my match or playing, but it's fine. Again, early access. My kitty's blocking it, but it says early access. I hope I'm not blocking anything. I keep forgetting to look. I hope my character's not blocking anything and my DVD position here is good. My little coochling. I think once it gets used to it, it'll be easier, but attacking the monster is hard. Attacking him is kind of hard. Wart. That was one of them. I don't know if that's the werewolf or not. I should go look at the monster's names. <laughs> I went in a circle. <gasps> Is it a good idea to make something with someone? Oh, two people are making this one? I feel like one of them will probably get it, and I should go focus on something else. Ah, we'll go get this thing. See, that's another thing. Like, should I have stayed there with them and all three of us crafted the same things? It might be worth it. I'll go find something else since there's two. It is, it is worth going finding something else or crafting with another. Got it, two in a row. Oh, I am a, I am a VHS expert now. Just like Dead by Daylight, someone just walking by scared the hell out of me. Got me a ray gun. Alright, somebody got him with that item. God, these these maps are so confusing! You're a person. I'm gonna attack people again. What the hell was that? Oh. See, why can I not attack him right now?
I'll go back and pick this person up. at the moment. So see, like, why can't I right there? Is it because I'm, like, disrupted? That seems, like, so overpowered because he does that so often. Where'd he go? Nothing! Every time I find the monster, though... He's, like, doing that, and I can't, I can't, like, use my weapon. And I've only played against the same monster every time so far. Maybe that's because that's, like, the strong monster. To whoever is down, I'm, I don't even know how to get up there. Ah, stairs. Do I have a weapon? No, I have a weapon that is currently needed. Oh, I thought I saw him. Much oh yeah, oh for sure. <laughs> for sure. Like I just don't get like why why when that, that killer monster it's hard to not use DVD terms does that I can't shoot it, which makes kind of sense, but I can't ever, it feels like he's always doing that. a healing book or something? Or is that something else? I thought I remember hearing that when I watched people play. But I definitely... Oh, I don't have to go around things? Oh no, three people are down. Oh! Well, thank you. I appreciate you. Oh, someone disconnected. And or candy! Oh no, this is healing. Is that the monster? the absolute worst. 
All right, I'm gonna go to this beyond thing over here or this rift or never mind. I am probably dead again. I have nothing. I have nothing. I'm looping him. I'm looping him. I'm looping him. Oh, dead. <laughs> Holy crap. This game is so much harder than Dead by Daylight. In my opinion. Oh, search for the Book of the Dead to be resurrected. What does the Book of the Dead look like? All right. I search for Book of Dead. Is that Book of Dead? No, that's not it. Oh. No! What does the Book of Dead look like? Oop, that's a car. So you can be brought back to life. I'm assuming this thing will like glow and tell me this is Book of Dead. Oh, poor me. Of Dead? I love being this little, like, spirit baby thing, though. I don't get to do anything, but it's still fun to be this little spirit baby. RIP! Yep, that's me. Big ol' rips. No? I'm assuming being a book could probably be inside, but I don't, uh, that's just logic, not video games. Is this it? No, it's just a light. Oh uh, no! Somebody is dead. So is it like worth? Well, no, it said you could be brought back to life. So I was like, is it worth disconnecting right here? And like, it's not a DVD penalty. It's just you're disconnecting from the game because your game is over. Can I do this? No. Or it's below me. Nope, I went in a circle. Oh, there's one person still in the game. I'll give him credit. She's going for the rift! Oh, here's the stairs. I was just wondering if I could do the rift. Uh, nope, I can't do anything. Figure not, I was dead. the book of dead looks like i might have passed it but i'll have to like watch some videos of some people playing to see what it looks like this could be a while though if there's someone still in the game and she's not really that injured it looks like but i don't want to disconnect because i kind of want to see like how it all goes Oh, no, they caught her. Or they know where she's at, at least. I think after this game, I think we'll switch characters just to see if, if there's, like, a difference or anything. But I do like playing Jess. She's, like, she's just really cool. She's kind of got my aesthetic, and I love it. Pine Bluff High School. All right. There she is. Let's follow. I don't know. Can we see the monster? I haven't seen him yet, so I don't think we can see the monsters, maybe. As a boy boy. Oh, Dozer Man, I'm sorry. Oh, 
don't, I don't know how long I could be wandering around. As whoever is coding who? They're doing a pretty good job at escaping. I, I, I looped them for like a minute. I don't even know if that's really something you can do very well in this game is actually loop. I feel like I've been everywhere though, so I'm not sure if I've missed this book. The monster is enraged! Oh no! Oh my god! Oh! Jump scare. Ah, <laughs> uh, she caught, he caught the last teen. Well, I didn't have the least amount of points. But I definitely wasn't much help. So the one person who got the one of the wounds is disconnected for some reason. I don't know if they died. I wasn't really paying attention. I don't know if they died or not. I think they just disconnected. What? Did I level up my ray gun? Weapon level up. Let's go. So, does, is that a thing? Like, you can get, like, better weapons? So, oh. I see. I see. Okay, so you, when you level up something, it's better. So, right now, I've got, like, level one flamethrower, 42 seconds to craft, nine and a half seconds weapon charge. And, like, the next thing, firebomb, only 35 seconds and one bottle. Interesting, interesting. I guess it's still unsure exactly what I'm doing, but I'm having a blast learning it. Hold to purchase. Purchased. And crafting. When a crafting skill check is failed, there's a 50% chance the blunder will be prevented. And the monster will not be- Oh, so what I- Oh! <laughs> Hello, SK! How are you doing today? So when I- when I fail a skill check, Technically, the killer that, or monster, excuse me, knows where I'm at. It totally looks like, um, can I purchase one of these? They try to shoot you in your penis. Adds 50% additional points to your score in the in ingenuity pursuit category. Oh! Cool! What did I do? I got a perk. And I put that equipped. Yay! I equipped it a perk. When crafting, when a crafting skill check is failed, there's 50% chance of blunder. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm actually gonna go play someone else though, cause I kinda just wanna see what it's like to play as somebody else. Uh, I like Faith. She's kinda cute. But, Need customizer. How do I customize? Style. Got it. Thank you, Brad, for giving SK a shout out. Oh, I can change my bow color. Oh, purple all the way. Is that an arrow, or are you happy to see me? Oh, hell yeah, these are my style. Purple, yes. Oh, purple or polka dots? Oh no. Purple plaid, that's me. Uh, nothing owned. I'm adorable. This just looks like her. White. Uh, I don't really know what these emote things are, so <laughs> I'm just gonna leave those. Okay, we're gonna play as Faith, because I just wanna try something else. I just wanna try something 
Pals. If you are if you are playing in a video store, there's only two characters you should be playing as. Steve or Robin? Completely agree, yes. Shout out, clips are freezing for you. Oh no, are they? I didn't notice, I wasn't looking. I haven't noticed. This is actually, I haven't had them on all day. This is, uh, we, we were playing earlier in the day. I had them turned off because I was recording for YouTube. So I haven't seen much shout out clips on this screen today. Let me look, let me look, let me do this. <laughs> oh, Hama, I have something for you. That was a great test clip. I see if I know that one. So I'll keep my eye on it, SK. Thank you for letting me know. I know the minute I go over to words, I'm gonna get a lobby. It seems to be happening every time. I don't, I just realized, what time is it? It's almost five o'clock. I just realized Taser hasn't joined us today. Holy crap. He must be having like a good day, like snoozing somewhere. This is what happens when you pretend to be magic. You get her clip buff. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. The one for me froze twice, then re I heard it restart. I thought, that's why I was looking over at my screen and I thought you got like a double shout out. But I heard it restart. But then I thought I was imagining things. I was like, maybe I was just thinking I heard it restart because I've done that before. One time it was, I think Blossom was shouted out and her, she got the same clip twice. And I thought something was wrong with my shout out clips or something and it was just a second shout out, but I literally thought you were getting a double shout out there when that happened. Yeah, it was one with me and Denny, yeah. I wonder if, I don't know, maybe, cause that, the one with Magic played fine. So I don't know if it was like, maybe I was, because I was on a, like, on a different screen on my game because I was choosing like things and maybe the game's running a little bit rough. I don't know. I don't know. You have to let me know if like the game, uh, if the game starts like lagging. Maybe it was like a lag because of the game. Because no one's told me today yet if any if my game is lagging. Okay, I'm gonna try something while that one's playing. Oh, it was over. Well, I was clicking around on my game, thinking maybe that was causing it to... I like how I can go into other screens though, my, my lobby is still loading. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> nope, it started, froze, played more froze, then finished. Interesting. Interesting, that's weird. Owner, owner also made like my internet burped or something and caused like my stream to lag for a sec. I, yeah, I understand. You just gotta have any lag. I was just wondering. I haven't seen any lag. Maybe it was game related making freeze. That's what I was thinking because I was when it was going. It was I was in uh, the menu selecting her outfit. So I was wondering if like maybe like the game was causing like my OBS to like freeze a little bit. So I don't know. Because the last two clips we've played haven't done that. And like I so said, we haven't played a lot of shout out clips today because I was on a different screen for a while and there was none. And since we switched to this one, there hasn't been a lot played yet. And so I haven't noticed. Maybe it was just a one time thing. Maybe it's all fixed now. Could have been an internet burp too. Who knows? Or it could have been like the program itself, the Twitch guru thing. Maybe it had an issue for a second. <laughs> like at the perfect time there. Claim? Wait! 
Oh, I don't know if I was supposed to claim that. Daily drop. Oh, I, it was a daily thing. Never mind. <laughs> I saw something that said claimed. I just had to click it. I was testing the shoutouts and seeing if it was still doing it. Well, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna go over, we're gonna play some words for a minute. See if, every time I do this though, I jinx the game. All right, let me put some words on. I think I, I turned the sound down again, sorry. Or turn the sound off, I mean. All right, we'll play some words and see if we can jinx the game for a, a lobby. Also, I'm, a ten, I'm on a 10 second uh, delay, so I'll try not to steal all the words on the 10 seconds. I don't have any meds for tomorrow. Thanks to the pharmacy not doing their job correctly. Oh man, right? Ours, ours does that too, like my, for my mom one time. It took her like weeks to freaking get her medication because the pharmacy was literally not really doing their job. It's like we went, they're like, oh, it'll be ready in like a few minutes. And we waited and they're like, oh, never mind. It's, we don't actually have that in stock. So it won't be here at all. We're like, excuse me. I called them and they told me that my meds would be delivered along with my mother's meds. They brought my bombs, but not mine. Did you call them back? And then they were like, oh. Never mind. We don't have yours ready. Hey, I got a lobby with one player in it. Well, already up. We'll play some more words while I wait. Is Nemo a word? <laughs> no! Come on, game. Nemo is such a word. I see absolutely nothing. This game was trash. I saw absolutely nothing. That's why I was quiet. I never saw it. I finally got hoop though. <laughs> Thankfully, this pharmacy is now oh 24-hour drive-through, but I have no car, which is why they get delivered. I'm talking to the pharmacist now. Well, good luck. Hopefully, you get it all worked, worked out. Excuse me. Oh, that's not how you spell that word. <laughs> got it. Well, yeah, I hope you get it all worked out. Luckily, they're open 24-7, though. Or, well, excuse me, 24 hours, I mean. Magic's killing it. I don't see nothing. I got hoop. And poor. Oh! <laughs> got one. Am I lobby here yet? Not me and this one person's waiting for their players. I'll give it a few minutes. I might back out of the lobby and hop back in. Well, we passed the level at least. 
Bang. There are too many vowels. I hate it when there's that many vowels in a in a puzzle. I get all confuzzled. This has got a lot. Well, that's not how you spell nozzle. <laughs> I thought I know how to spell nozzle, but I thought it's like maybe this is another way. <laughs> I tried! Oh! Oh! You got it five seconds before I typed it out. Mrs. says they will deliver them tomorrow, which means instead of taking me meds at 7 a.m., I have to wait until they bring them, which who knows when that will be. Going to see if I have enough in my leftover stash to cover them till morning. I hope you do. I, I, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it when that happens, though. It, like, it throws everything off, and then it's like, they were supposed to do it in the first place. Nice magic. Got the big word. And then it screws everything up because they couldn't do their job in the first place. When in doubt, pluralize everything. All right, I'm gonna cancel and get out of this lobby. I don't know how to get out of here. It's taking too long to get into that lobby, and there's only one, per only one person there, so I'm just gonna see if I can get another lobby. Beaver. Is this technically a word? No, that's not how you spell it. Good morning, Maddie. How are you? shows you a word. Yeah, I tried that too, Magic, and I was shocked it wasn't there. I, maybe that's not how you spell it? Or maybe they don't like that word? <gasps> Brad says, hi, Maddie. Taser never joined us today. He's still hanging out in the other parts of the house, I guess. Oh, beer. Ha! <laughs> Got bear! <gasps> Gee, cheese! Hey, did we get a lobby again? Oh, please don't tell me I'm in the same lobby. Oh, no, okay. I was like, I thought I saw this one person in the my small screen, and I was like, oh, no, I've got the same lobby that I had. Well, I'm gonna give it a try. We're still waiting for one more person. I'm not paying attention to the screen because I'm on a different screen playing words, but I keep logging into lobbies. 
Oh, there's only one R. You're right. <laughs> I love how I can see multiple letters in those puzzles when literally there's only one. What the hell is this puzzle? But anyways, as I was saying, I, I keep loading into these lobbies where there's one person missing. I don't know if they X out when I'm not paying attention because I'm on a different screen or do they have like this weird issue where you log in, uh, load into a lobby minus the killer or one survivor. Cycle. Holy hell, I never saw it. I'm just, I'm having one of those days I see nothing. <laughs> oh, I was like, I see a word, but never mind. There's not bad letters in there. There's no T. You guys are killing it. Oh, wait, is it L E I? My bad. God, my E and me, I mixed up. Let me go back to my other. Let me go back to my game and see if I am ready to. Yeah, I am. Oh. Dang, that was a rough one. GG's though, everyone! We tried! That was just a rough puzzle. the big word let's go we well, are the killer at least no i am not the killer <laughs> i have a teen hello ever dust how's it going i am not the monster i have never tried monster so i don't know what the hell monster is like Forever. I usually play monsters covered with cues. I've definitely heard that. I've definitely heard it is way nicer to play a uh, monster because of cues. This is only like my fourth game. I, I, I haven't got to play this game that much. This is my first time, this is my first day ever playing it. And this would probably, I think it's like my fourth game even. And um, I'm trying to get some practice in as teen because I enjoy playing teen more, I think. I mean, I don't know, I haven't played Monster yet, but I can get my practice in with these cues, but I, I definitely already knew cues could be long. I definitely knew that. Ooh, this is a small puzzle. How long have you been playing? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I've been 100, an hour, 100 hours before the beta closed. I didn't get to play the beta. I had access, but I got access um, like two weeks-ish 
before they closed beta and I never had the opportunity to get on because I was just I was busy and I was doing other things and I only play variety games on Friday so I don't get to I, I haven't got to play um, that one or this game because I had other games lined up or I wasn't um, streaming gotta drive uh, have a safe drive, Magic. I was trying to reach out and do the same thing. Have a safe drive home, Magic. Love your faces and see you soon. Same, same, same. Love you too. And safe drives home, Magic. Thank you so much for being absolutely amazing. And I will see you tonight on your stream if you do not make it back to mine. No one wants to play Monster. <laughs> oh no. I hope this lobby isn't broken. I hope not. I X out of a lobby a few minutes ago because it was literally me and one other person. And I'm like, I don't know. It's taking too long with just waiting for three other people. I'm out. People join must be short monsters. <laughs> Taking my sim to the vet clinic for his sick dog, and instead of checking in Kuji, he decides to water all the plants. Sounds about right for Sims, yeah? <laughs> Sounds about right. Oh, I think I saw it right there at the end. I haven't really been paying attention to the lobby, though. I'm on a different screen playing this, so I haven't really been paying attention to what the lobby is doing. But I've had fun playing so far. Like, I haven't got to play a lot because, um, just lobby times. But the few games I've played, I've had a lot of fun. I'll wait, but I'm going back to Monster after this. Understandable, understandable. I'll probably give Monster a try later. Um, uh, I only got about, like, an hour left of stream, so. I figured I'll just play, play teams because, um, I play a lot of Dead by Daylight, and I'm, I like playing um, Survivor better. So I was like, I probably like Teen better. Nice. And then, uh, wait. I, I just don't really feel like practicing Killer, since I don't even really understand exactly how to play Teen yet. <laughs> I mean, I understand how to play. I got it, but I haven't really done a lot. So I'm going to give you a fair warning, Everdust. I'm not very good. <laughs> I'm still trying to get used to how everything works and what, you know, like how, how, how do I do this? Like, when does that, when can I do that? Should I focus on this first and all that? Nope, that's not a word. They're releasing- Oh, I was wondering that! They're releasing a new teen and monster soon, so people will play monster. I was wondering if they're gonna release anything soon like that. I thought this would be kind of like... Dead by Daylight, where everyone would probably want to play teen because everybody kind of wants to play... Or wait... No, 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 I had that backwards. Never mind, never mind. Forget it! Forget what I said! <laughs> A sour word. This is definitely a game that I think I will probably be playing more off stream because of these cues until either they have more people playing or they fix whatever's causing this to be this slow. I mean, there's there can't be not that many people playing this game to make it this long of a queue. Oh, the VHS sets you get, uh, you complete, gives you some sort of hint. There are like 80 videos to complete. <laughs> I have done nothing. <laughs> like I said, I, this is literally the first day I've played and I've only been playing since like three o'clock my time, so about an hour and a half. And I've only gotten three matches and done nothing.
just play monster. No one's playing monster at all. Yeah, I guess that's just it. Absolutely nobody's playing monster. Which is kind of hard to believe because a few people who have come into my chat so far have said that they prefer playing monster. I'm gonna switch to killer and I bet it puts me in this lobby. <laughs> that would be so unlucky. Probably. Since we're waiting for a killer, if you switch to killer, you'll probably join our lobby again. <laughs> I don't blame you though. I don't blame you for taking off. I'm about ready to take off out of this lobby and hope I get one again. Or get a better one, I mean. Well, if you are switching to killer, good luck, have fun. Oh, nice, SK, nice. Oh. That always get us over the goal. It didn't, I'm already on full lobby, no! <laughs> well, I'm glad you got into a lobby, though. You know you're playing killer now, or excuse me, monster now, so. Understandable. But. Congratulations on getting a lobby. But I think I'm gonna X out of this one again and see if I can... Trick it into giving me a lobby. I'm just tired of waiting. All right, we'll try it again. I could switch regions too, but I don't really know. Wedley a legion. What region would be better? Yet. I switched from Jess to Faith and I've, I've jinxed myself now. Now I've gotten no lobbies. I gotta use play. He's gonna mess these people up. Well, have fun. Have fun. Did I get into a lobby? Frick! I got into a lobby again with one person missing. Every single time. Every single time I'm loading in now, I get one person missing. Whether it's killer or, or monster or teen. God, that's hard to say. That is so hard to say when you're in Dead by Daylight Bane from saying killer and survivor. Oh, I see the big word. I'm locked. Oh, you typed it faster than me! <laughs> I was trying to type it out and I, f I pushed the L and the K at the same time, so I was trying to back, back up and SK was faster. Oops, I cannot type, apparently. Well, that's not a word. Damn, I suck today. If I don't get into this lobby at a decent time, I might just stop playing the game. I, I just don't really feel like playing Monster. It's like if I'm if I'm gonna switch games, I'll probably just go play like Dead by Daylight for a match or two. I'm just not really in the mood to learn monster when I haven't even really learned teen yet. And I don't mind waiting for these lobbies. I like, I really don't. But when I'm streaming, it's a little rough because it's like, I'm trying to like play words and keep everyone entertained as best I can. But waiting in these lobbies is like, I get it. But at the same time, streaming is, it's really rough. But I still, again, I highly recommend this game. It's fun. It's fun. I'll probably give Monster a try like off stream sometime though. Maybe like later tonight. While I'm listening to Magic play D&D. &D.
Nice. Am I still locked? Oh, I'm not. Is this technically a word? Yay! Oink! <laughs> I know it's like a sound. I just didn't know if they would consider it. These puzzles sometimes, I swear. Did Taser ever come in and I'm just dumb? No. He's just not joining us today. I don't know what like the second big word is. Not the biggest word, but the second one. <gasps> GG's. All right, I'll give this lobby like one more-ish words level, and then I'm probably gonna have to switch games. Somebody left, then another one came in. It makes me think like it's the killer we're waiting for. Monster, whatever. <laughs> nice. Let's go. Oh, no, we don't have that word yet. Oh, I think you were still locked, SK. So theme is probably, or at least if I can get it real quick. Oh, no, I'm still locked. There you go. Oh, maybe it was just slow. Never mind. You got it. You got it. You got it. I was still locked. I couldn't get it. I was trying to sneak it in there in case it didn't register in time. We got it. All right, one more. Lots of letters. Not a lot of words. That's a fake letter too. Okay, so Y A R N, at least there's no fake letter there. Yeah, yeah, it does. I understand. It can it's like it's only 10 seconds, but it's still it definitely is hard. Cause I know when I'm playing on other streams as well, it's like, no, nah, the damn delay. I never change my delay though from, uh, I have it at like 10 seconds for Dead by Daylight, just in case we get someone who's a stream sniper and I just don't change it. Fake letter is, but I can't get the big lord either. Oh, S. Well, that helps. Damn. That one 
was a rough puzzle, even with the fake letter shown. Even with the fake letter shown, it was rough. All right, I think I'm calling it for VHS because I'm tired of waiting in these lobbies. <laughs> I feel like I could be here all day. And like I said, it's not that big a deal if I wasn't streaming, but it literally, I've gotten, I got to play three games. And it was fun. I will admit it was a lot of fun. It really was. But I can't anymore. I just can't. If I had something else to do, like I could get up and do stuff, it would be fine. All right, so we're just gonna switch to DVD for a little bit. We'll just switch to DVD just for like a match or two because I've got about half hour left in stream. But I recommend it. If you guys want to play VHS, it is free. Anybody can play. Um, it's currently technically in early access, so, you know, there is things they're working on and all that. There's already been a patch since they last, um, when they had it released and everything, but I highly recommend it. It's just, it, I would recommend, like, maybe trying Monster. I just don't feel like playing Monster right now. Like, I'm gonna go play Dead by Daylight. I'm not gonna play Killer. Not at all. I'm just gonna, like, probably play, like, a match or two. Oops just to fill out the rest of the stream instead of ending. But I do highly recommend it. It, it just looks like it's, it needs more people playing monster apparently. All right, let me go set up my Dead by Daylight. showing up why is it not showing up oh because I selected the wrong window there we go there we go and I know the sound is all right because I made a new source today all for the sound all right All right, just setting up my, let me just take that out because it's not my first playthrough. Just setting up my stuff, there we go. But I appreciate you guys sticking with me. I really do. Sorry that the queues were really long on that game. And it, like I said, it's understandable, but I just can't anymore. I need to be playing something because I'm literally boring myself now with my own stream and that's not good. I don't want to be boring myself on my own stream. So if I'm boring, if I'm, Bored myself, you guys probably are too, so we're gonna switch up. And I only got about half hour, so we'll probably play like probably two matches, but it'll give us something to do for a few minutes. Um, no, let's get rid of that one. Rescue three survivors from the hook with Hattie. Can do. Can do. All right, so I think I'm gonna go with what I was running. So off the record, dead hard. I'm actually gonna try more dead hard. I clipped the one dead hard that I did that was successful. And if I'm being honest, I know I'm not gonna get it every time. It's definitely a timing thing. I kind of liked the new dead hard over the old one, but that's probably gonna change because I'm not gonna be able to hit that every time. But I'm gonna give it a couple more tries. Um, I wanna run over Zealous. I'm just gonna go with this. I'm just gonna go with this. And my challenge is bronze. Cool, then we can finish that. Maybe, hey, maybe by the end of stream, like two matches, maybe we'll tip into the silvers. That would be
would be nice. That would be very nice. I wonder when DBD. Oh, love these cues. <laughs> love these cues. But I wonder when Dead by Daily is going to come out with a patch to fix the, um, one, the match thing that has, like, tells you when this roll is needed and you get extra BP from it. That was apparently broken when it came out. Go figure. Something came out broken with Dead by Daylight, but I already lost to my killer. But, um, I wonder when they're going to fix that because I, I like that idea that apparently didn't work when it came out. And also, I'm kind of anxious to see if they're going to come out with any, any kind of update that's going to, like, nerf something. Oh, I guess I could plug in my controller. I'm not playing on mouse and keyboard. I refuse to play Dead by Daylight on mouse and keyboard just to the fact where I like keeping it as a channel redemption for you guys. It has been fun, though. The few times you guys have redeemed it, I have had a lot of fun playing with mouse and keyboard. Yeah, with my current graphics, the way I have it set, this loading screen is awful. This loading screen is absolutely awful with it, but I don't want to change it because it's perfect for the in-game. But when I first loaded this up, I was like, oh, Dead by Daylight, you, it's a nice screen, I like it, but when I have my, when I have my graphics card with special stuff, this loading screen is horrible. But in-game, it's fine, so I am not taking it all off, because I cannot take it off and put it on that fast. So I'm just gonna have to live with it. And hopefully, we'll probably have this loading screen, I'm thinking, maybe until the next chapter? I don't know. I don't know. Next chapter's not until September, so probably not. So, if I meant to say this last stream on... Is it Monday? No, 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 no. No, it's Wednesday, like, in two weeks or whatever. Um, April, or August 3rd, I think it was. They're going to have a... Um, I think it was a live stream to reveal the information about the Dead by Day or the Resident Evil chapter that's coming out. But it's not till August 3rd, and I'm pretty sure we all know, we all know the killer, it's obvious, I think, but they haven't said anything about survivors other than the leaks that have come out. But if you guys want to know more, I think they said it was August 3rd, some kind of live stream on their channel, I believe it was. Which I'm excited for. I'm excited to see a little bit of information about it, other than the leaks we all know. First match, Dead Dog Saloon. I have to rescue three people. Can do. We'll see. Frickin' Madam Bird already? Holy hell. Oh, damn. No matter what I'm playing, first match of the day? Rough. No! I was way past that window! I can play this game and get angry at it. <laughs> I was just getting ready to say right before she found me. I was like, we'll see how this game goes. I've had some luck. I haven't really been tunneled. I haven't been camped or anything. Wednesday was great. I had a lot of fun. But I know that this game has some issues lately with how things are. One Claudette coming for me. Two Claudette coming for me. All right, let's see if I'm tunneled. Nope. 
Hey, I'm gonna heal myself. I have no idea where everyone is. Have you ever just watched the Paranoid animation in Sims? I swear it looks like this. My... Sim is afraid of his own armpits? No, I don't think I really have. <laughs> I don't think I really have seen the Paranoid animation. Oh, damn it. That much. But I've heard that rubber banding is bad for some people. Uh, it was, it was, yeah, it was the other night when uh, Maria was having really bad rubber banding. And I've heard a couple people say the rap, rap a band, rubber banding is rough. I didn't experience any on Wednesday, but that doesn't mean it. Frick. That doesn't mean that I might not experience any today. But I have heard that. <laughs> I think, I think actually Dead by Daylight did address it. Not positive, but I loved how in the update they're like, and possibly fixed the rubber banding issue. And then people still get rubber banding and it's like, hmm, nope. Nope. Is it like certain servers maybe getting rubber banding? I have no idea. I, that was just like a general question because I haven't, I haven't experienced any, but I haven't noticed the people who are wh where they're at or what kind of servers they're maybe on. Maybe there's like an issue in a server. But who knows. Man, we can't get gens done. I need to rescue. She's got deadlock. Let me try and run over here and save her. I did not realize she had that. That was 100% my bad. She had overcharge. I don't want to go back to that gen, but that's what sucks with the new overcharge when people are, well, I mean, it was perk before. But now that it was buffed, more people are playing with it, and you can't touch a gen real quick, like I just did there. It was really horrid for me last night, especially when the killer was in my area. It's been happening. Oh, so it's been happening on both east and west. Okay, okay. Because I'm only on west, so it's like maybe it's like maybe the east is having a problem, but nah, it's it must be just a general game problem. Yay! We got a gen done. Okay, it's good to know though she has overcharge. Because now when I touch a gen again, I'll be very more aware instead of popping on it real quick to stop it from regressing. Almost done, I'm almost done, I'm almost done, I'm almost done, I'm almost done! I'm almost done. You want heals? 
No. I'm a bush. So mad that that gem was ninety nine point nine percent dead. <laughs> Not gonna get it before she lo uh, locks before she hooks her. Fuck! Then I missed my skill check. I'm such a horrible Dead by Daylight player. I'm committed to this damn gen. Oh no, she sees me! Never mind, I'm not committed to it anymore. Not one bit. if it's worth going back to this gen now. I'm so mad that it that I was that close. Yeah, I, this match is such crap. <laughs> this match is such crap, I can't do anything. Keeping your crows hostage. Oh, I tried to push dead hard and I didn't time it well. I tried and I didn't time it well. I don't know why overcharge. I cannot hit that skill check. It is tiny, but it's not that tiny. My two Sims kids just came home from school and found their dad woohooing an another man, their mom's best friend! Serenity is definitely judging her father! Oops, I missed my skill check. Here go, mom. Just got home and missed that drama. Well, probably for the better if she's prego pregos. I mean, this this killer is playing pretty fair. She's not tunneling anybody. Oh, I can't heal her. Why? Oh, did she use the syringe? Absolute mess right there. I was trying to heal Cleta and it wouldn't let me heal her. I kind of go back. I kind of gotta go back and save her. Marks. I don't know how she knew I was back there. 
Oh well. I is the first to die! Yeah. But she played a fair game. She played a fair game. Everybody was on death hook and I was just the first one that got caught. I was trying to heal that one Claudette though and I don't know why it wasn't triggering for me. And then she started self-caring and then I think it was just a mess from there. That's what it went, that's what went down for us. It was just a comedy of errors that happened. Well, GG's, I, I got my rescue three survivors for my extra BP though. And I got my bronze emblem. Let's go. Did I pip? I pipped. That's all that matters. Yep, she was self caring. <laughs> I still see people self caring. I still see the self care out there. I give them credit for tr wanting to still use that. The useless part. All right, where do we want to go? Success at succeed at 12 skill checks. That's easy. All you have to do is get carried by the killer pretty much and that's done. Um, should we play as Hattie again? Why not? All right, this will probably be my last match. Yes, we only probably played two matches today in Dead by Daylight, but I just needed something to do for a few minutes uh, because the just was just taking too long in queues. And I know I could have switched to monster, just didn't want to. Wasn't really in the mood to play monster. I want to be chased, I don't want to chase. If that's the case in that game, if because Cues are taking so long because nobody wants to play monster, then they probably need to work on doing something about their monsters that makes people want to play them. Because I don't, I mean, I, I like Killer in Dead by Daylight. I would probably like monster, but I just don't see the appeal of it as much as I do Killer in this game. Maybe it would be the opposite though, because technically in VHS you're chasing the killer and as or monster and you're trying to prevent that from happening, so maybe monster would be fun. I don't know, I'll play it off stream though. Well they probably play that game here and there on stream when I need something to do on like a variety Friday. But I've got a lot of games lined up for variety fight variety Fridays here in the coming Fridays. Next week, I don't think I'll be home, as far as I know. So next Friday, there might not be a stream. But um, the next Friday, the Mortuary Assistant comes out and I will be playing that most likely next, not next Friday, but the next Friday. I don't know what the date is. Why is he wearing a maid's outfit? I mean- Thank you for all the shout outs. <laughs> no, why? Why do we have to have magic sad clip? We get one of my really old ones that's absolutely horrible and then we get magic's really sad one. Mind, I've been bamboozled. <laughs> oh, I finally got to see my bamboo. That is my all time favorite clip, I swear. <laughs> kick it. Kick it. Kick 
can't tell if that's the game or. Wait a bitch! Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh Jesus Christ! My heart hurts. Jesus Christ! I lived for both of you. There's a totem up here. You know what? The blight clip, the bamboozle, made up for the sad magic clip. Let's go! Hi, Jill. Oh, I have 14% jet increase now. No, f oh, it's Trickster. No offense, somebody else needs to go for that. I got super speed. <laughs> well, this is unfortunate. See if he comes right for me. Yep! He's gonna slug already! Come on! I'm gonna run him as far away from them as possible, then hopefully the cape will do something of use. Oh, I pushed it hard! I pushed it, didn't get it though. That's okay, I ran him as far away as possible because he was already going for the slug! Damn! Well, I got rid of his blood flavor, so... I'm sad, though! I finally got a Hex that I got to cleanse with Overzealous. And I didn't get to keep it that long because I was found. But luckily, the Kate got everybody up, so... I got him as far away as possible. I was like, I'm missing somebody. I found them. Damn, I was trying though for the dead hard right there, and I almost had it, but not quite right typing. I honestly don't even know if, um, technically I even hit it. So everybody's gonna go for the save, but I guess I'll run this way. Frank, why? Frank, why me? You were chasing someone, weren't you? Okay. trying to dead hard, but... Come on, you downed someone who hadn't been hooked yet. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just hang out. Can't tell who that is over there, but... They're... Oh, they're trying the flashlight? 
Oh no, were they under a pallet? Oh, I think they're under a pallet and they're trying to pallet save. No, there was someone over here working on a gen, so I'm gonna go over here and see what they were doing. Eh, it's not that done. They must not have been here long. Yeah, let's work on a gen, Nancy. Alright, no offense, I'm injured and on death hook. I am not going for this save. died on hook. <laughs> I was like, oh no, they died! I'll come back for you, Nancy. I'm a bush. What if it's got barbecue? That's always the age-old question. What if they have barbecue? But now, being that the point... Nope, because they didn't know that's over here. Because the points are gone now. They... No, I just made people run with it, even though I ran with it the one day. He went that way, so I'll go save Nancy. I got the speed heals. It's okay. I don't know. How, how far was that Jed done in here? Absolutely dead. See if he even comes in here. He turned his game around though. I, I thought he was a little tunnely, but or sluggy, but he definitely turned his game around because everybody's on death hook now. Jill, I'm coming! I'm almost there! No! <laughs> well, yay, but no! Never know where these people are going. Man, I hate that Nancy died first. She saved me a couple times. She was my lifesaver a few times. Oh, somebody had to die first. I don't really want to go back in the house. He kind of checks that gen. So I'll work on this one.
Wow! Hi, Taser. You're late today. It's almost time to end stream, but you're just joining us. Man, I wish I knew where a totem was that was really close so I could at least get a little bit of a speed bonus right now. Oh, she fell out of the window. Frick, I swear. Okay, let me see if we can run them away from her. Then they can at least get her up. Totally fine. If I can get as far away from her as possible. Yes. That was my plan. I couldn't, I couldn't dead hard fast enough with that. <laughs> dead harding against his knives are almost impossible, I would think. But I saved the other TTV here! I distracted him enough so that he came for me and the other TTV -er got up because they left him. Like I said, I never care that I die in the match. I'm perfectly fine with me dying. And they got Jenda too, nice. Like, I, I get why people do that. Like, they'll down someone and then they'll go after someone who's right there. But on a huge map like that, I could take you to the opposite side of the map. And that person will get up. Or could get up. But I pipped into silver. So, you know what? We got two matches out of the way today. And we pipped. So, I consider it a win. And also, did I finish that challenge? Finished two challenges. Didn't escape either time. Both matches were pretty fun. The the hardest one was a little bit, it got a little boring there for a few minutes because of the perks being a little, kind of overpowering, but not bad. Not bad at all. Um, hide within 10 meters of the killer without being caught for a total of 15 seconds. too bad I'll go that way but I'm not gonna do it today we'll come back on Monday and we'll do that because I do need to get off it is time to go start dinner and all that good stuff but I unlocked two levels of the tome or excuse me of the rift got two challenges done and pipped twice in two matches and overall had a pretty good time and I apologize like that's really boring we play like two matches and I'm done but I didn't want to end stream I had time left so I my menu is bugged. But I wanted to do something and I don't have really anything that I could play like literally just a few minutes with, so. Figured we could get a little bit done in Dead by Daylight. The new tome opened and everything, so that was nice to finish a little bit there. And it was still fun to play. I still don't have, I still have not seen that many bad things happen in the game. I have not experienced any rubber banding. Not saying it's not out there, but I just haven't had any. So I, I'm really considering myself like a lucky person right now in Dead by Daylight. Because I'm not experiencing anything really rough in the game. At all. But I really feel for everybody who... I knocked that thing off my desk yet again, whatever. But I really feel bad for everyone who's getting really bad lobbies and the rubber banding. You know, they should have that fixed. Fast, in my opinion. Because they're going to lose... I don't think they'll lose players, but you're definitely going to lose them right now. Because people will be like, screw this, I'm going to go play something else. Because it's not worth it. So, but I'll consider myself lucky that I've had a decent time since patch. So, can't complain at all. Um, let's go find someone to raid. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I had an absolute blast. I, I really had fun playing that baby and yellow game. Loved it. It was really a lot of fun. Um, VHS was fun. I just, I can't. I'm an impatient person as it is. I can't sit through those lobbies. And... I know I could have given Monster a try, but I didn't really feel like checking out Monster. It just wasn't really something I felt like playing. And 
because of the lobbies were absolutely horrible. We played DVD for literally two matches, but it was still fun. It was still fun stream. Let's go find someone to raid though. Oh, I think I have my bra. No, my bras are off. We're gonna go with this person. I don't get to rate them very often. Oh! <laughs> I don't know how to rate anymore! I don't know how to do this raid thing! Okay. We're gonna go raid Shy. I hope he's not getting off. I hope he's still gonna play. It looks like he's probably still gonna be playing. He just read it up, so he probably is. So he's playing Fall Guys right now with friends, it looks like. So we're gonna go give Shy all the love. He was here earlier and said hello and everything. Oh, someone's got the Pusheen outfit. How adorable. I haven't played Fall Guys since it went free. I re-downloaded it and was going to. Oh, I should've maybe played that today. <laughs> so Dead by Daily, whatever, it's okay. Um, but I forgot I had downloaded that until I seen Shy playing it. But anyway, we're gonna go raid Shy because he is an amazing streamer. He is playing Shy Guys at the Shy Guys. He's playing Fall Guys at the minute. So if you guys want to go give him all the love, please copy paste the first one. Command, if you are not a sub, the second one. If you are a sub, they both show the same amount of love to these amazing streamers that we go and raid. So we're gonna go say hi to Shy real quick. But Thank you everyone for hanging out with me today. I had a blast. Check out my new videos on YouTube. They are um, the Little Miss Fortune video went up today and then also Wednesday stream is there as well. If you wanna check that out, if you don't wanna watch it on Twitch, you can watch it on YouTube as well. I will be back on Monday, playing more Dead by Daylight and having as much fun as we can have. But until then, I will see you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend and thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I'll see you guys all then, though. Bye-bye!